Hello and good evening everybody, I gotta say it happened again, yes exactly when I did, do that um, message with the update and I'm gonna add a few more minutes, like just a few more minutes so they can get into the lobby, bam they started the draft. Boom! It is what it is. Anyway, hello there, everybody, and uh, welcome. I do see just white table, Colorado. Good evening, sir, and welcome. And Sasu, also, you have been venue. Daniel Dingo, good evening, sir, and welcome, welcome. Uh, Eddie Coffin, also good evening, sir, and welcome. Yeah, yes, I'm I'm uh, sorry about uh, the animation. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was trying to do something else, and then uh, it just escaped my mind. I'm so sorry. A cops, also good evening, sir. I think actually we're gonna um, stream with uh, a with a cops with amit right we're gonna have amit here on the stream soon uh just a few moments until i actually uh, open up the microphone and so on but i do want to finish what's going on here most good evening sir and welcome thank you so much for writing first in the channel and picking up that first promotion we do have also thandorios good evening good evening sir i think you guys wrote at the same time big shout out <laughs> big shout out um you don't uh okay uh okay um well i did make a mistake so i think it's uh it's given um okay so wait why do i oh give me a second because i think i need to uh there we go okay there we go so uh let me open up the microphone and talk with amit hello there sir how are you doing good i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good uh, looking um how to say I, i'm a bit um uh, on a fast pace because when I uh, started up the stream I was uh, preparing for another three minutes or something uh, be because um, they weren't in the lobby and then they just started the draft immediately after I said it. <laughs> you said you also had the squadron splash. Oh. Yeah, 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 I did do that as well. Um, we, we do have so on talk about the game a little bit battery of full charge builders on the left game on the left side we do have on the right side the sumer rangers they are in the third division of uh, the cpl premier league and uh, i do have to say uh, there were quite a few um, uh, bumps in the round for uh, battery of full charge builders but i do believe they're on the very good track eight wins and nine losses right now they did also in uh, register in the wildcard tournament and uh whoa yeah and, uh, they try to recruit uh, new players over here on the other side yeah, uh, they got, yeah, sorry. I got Adamation. He's a pretty strong player. He should help bump their team up. Yeah, yeah, that, that is a very, very big uh, asset. Uh, let's assume Rangers on the right side. We do have them um, playing for the French squadrons for quite a long time. They did uh, want to join the CPA Premier League um, a while ago, like in this season. And um, they have been, uh, I think, chilling mostly in the CPL Premier League. I don't uh, really remember because we didn't stream on the Sumer Rangers for quite some time. I don't really remember uh, what kind of maps they would prefer to go on and so on. I, I don't know Battery Full Charge Builders does uh, want to go on bigger maps. And talking about that, they did ban uh, Inland Sea and Tilted Axis in the game. While we do have uh, the four pre-games also set on the left side, Battery Full Charge Builders with Vietnam and Macedon. On the right side, Genghis Khan and uh, Theodora. I'm a bit surprised not to see a Basil pre-ban. That's been pretty much standard across most uh, games. Uh, sorry, um, I didn't catch the sieve or the leader. Basil. Oh, oh, I see. But you know, I'm sure we'll see it in the uh, in the regular ban phase. Let's see. Uh, sometimes uh, they do um, not just not have enough bands, right? They it is what it is. You're still gonna let a few through a few civilizations that would definitely make uh, your game. Oh, we're painful. looking at a. We're gonna look at a sim map here. It's gonna be lakes or a version of highlands. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're pushing this. The new lakes is actually quite uh, nice. It's pretty good, actually. I'm uh, very surprised about yeah. it. Yeah, I I like it a lot. When, we like uh, to play most of our games on lakes. When initially uh, I saw a few games on uh, CVFR Squadrons with Lakes and they played it with the previous version, I was very oh, skeptical. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Rich Islands. Yeah, Rich Let's Islands. Go turn 100. Yep. Get ready, get yep. settled in. Coffee. <laughs> Good thing I did get my coffee. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's very hot. Very, very big over here next to me. Uh, well, we're going to need to see them so... ban another three on each side and then uh, they're going to go for the pick phase here. Yeah, so uh, uh, like Jeff, Jeff Ross, or I don't know how you pronounce it, on the Summer Rangers, 
Uh, he's a very strong player. He's probably their best one. He is a big goal enjoyer. He was in the uh, the top 10 FFA game, but um, I don't know if you remember, he had his settler stolen by Liege. And so he oh, just railed into him the entire game. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Remember, he was. I think you were casting. He was Kubla. I, I think I remember. Well, I mean, I've seen quite a few settler snatches. I was uh, remembering the one from yesterday with uh, Hazaki taking a settler from uh, Portugal and mm -hmm. it just like de totally destroyed Portugal's game. It, it, I mean, he didn't really have a good game anyway, but when uh, the settler was snatched, he was dead. Like, there was no other option. So. I wonder what we'll see banned here. Uh, Aztec is pretty good here because uh, it has a good sim and it can roll up late with like, you know, plus eight. So that might be a good one for one of the teams to ban. I love Congo on this map. I don't expect it to be banned, but I think it's a really good pick. You have pretty much infinite housing. Uh, Pre as well is very strong on this map. All of the simmers are quite strong on this map, to be honest. Um, even those um, coastal civilizations oh, like Age of Empire. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Agree. Uh, Age of Empire or Spain or um, uh, we've seen uh, Age of Steam. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, after the nerf, Age of Steam is just, I don't know, not preferred by the players. I it, do believe in its strength late game, but mm, until yeah, then, so it's Age a problem. Of Steam, Age of Empire has a lot more high roll potential. You get like a con split, a double con split. Mm -hmm. That's you have really good tempo. I had an FFA where I had my first three three cities all on different continents on Empire, and I just rolled through the game. Um, it, yeah. it can be very strong early. Age of Steam, nothing can outproduce it late. But yeah, you have yeah, to get it, it gets it exactly. You, you, you need to get, get there. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have uh, almost the last ban here. So Ethiopia got taken down. Makes sense. Hungary got taken down. Gorgo got taken Castle's down. Still available. Yeah, Basil is still available. Uh, Kree's being taken out by uh, Lesume Rangers and Gandhi. Again, makes sense. We've seen also Chandra Gupta um, being picked up more and more. And I'm a bit surprised we don't see uh, uh, Sejong over here. Like, wouldn't Sejong be quite a powerhouse it's, on this map? It's yes, it's fallen out of favor a bit. But Scotland, I think, is much better. Um, uh, sure, sure. For, for first rotation, I expect to see a Scotland. Um, on about listen more rangers i i feel like i expect to see a gall pick Ooh, basil oh my god instant pick go. i didn't even see the pick that it was just immediate <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so chandra gupta got uh, the band as the last one by uh, lesume rangers and then basil yeah there we go just as uh, emit was uh, complaining over here basil too strong <laughs> Um, you know, you, you have your teammates make your religion and um, plus eight, easy. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of the times uh, uh, it, it does happen that you're always going to want, well, always, uh, you're going to want most of the time a religion on your uh, empire anyway. I would Some like form. to see a Scotland pick here from the Sumer Rangers. Oh, they're going Philip. Okay, Philip not back. Not bad. Great actually. gold maker. Yeah, and uh, to be honest, with the extra plus five against the uh, civilizations uh, following the other religion, it's pretty good. It's a good basic counter pick, you're right. Forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, especially against basic. I know, haven't plus seen better, it used. Plus, plus five though. against other religions or a plus eight? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, true. But anyway, it's uh, less damage that you would get from others, right? <laughs> if you would yeah. be otherwise. Now, Hammurabi also a strong pick here from Les Sumer Rangers. We've seen multiple games with uh, Hammurabi shining in most of them. I think the only one that we didn't see him shine when he was picked on Primordial and he got an island spawn. And he, he, I mean, it wasn't really his fault. He was fighting Age of Empire next to him. You can imagine the, yeah. the difference. So he, it's also nice because on Rich Highlands, there can, be, there can tend to be a lack of fresh water, and Hammurabi has a river by it. Mm -hmm. There's Scotland. There you go. Yeah. Big amenities there. Awesome. Uh, the, but uh, where gold? Because I'm pretty sure Basil the second is going to need a lot of gold to upgrade units I mean, to uh, can, upkeep and so on. You can draft gold later. Like, you can draft... Um, I like Cleo Egypt here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It also has a river bias. Um, you like floodplains, but you honestly don't need it um oh both uh, Ptolemy and Egypt and the Cleopatra are open what kick okay yeah. yeah I think regular Egypt might be a bit better for the gold and then you pick um mm -hmm. like in England or something 
or even like a, a tundra rat um like canada can make some good gold especially uh, early get a few camps camp pantheon I spawned. Uh, I do want to say uh, you hello, quite a few Good evening, sir, and welcome. And I do want to also say hello there, um, Psycho Mike. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Fred the five five zero B. Uh, good evening, sir, and welcome. As I'm talking concept. with him, don't really want to, really. and he's but streaming. So I don't really want to, uh, you know, really stream everything here victory. or uh, talk to somebody that he doesn't know. Macallion, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, ça va, ça va, à tout. Okay, so let me see what's going on here. I got uh, Petty... distracted Petty a little Bullmoose. bit. Oh, you're good. Petty Bullmoose could also be a nice pick, maybe for mm -hmm. Team 2. A little gold heavy for Team 1. Scotland should actually make good gold. You you just go like, free campus opener, everywhere else commercial hub. Um, and then it's, it's good. Or if it's frontline, it could do a nice, like, night uh, push timing, like turn... 42 nights. Yeah. Ooh, that's, uh, unique. Yeah, that's fast. That is fast. And I, you go triple campus, double encampment, like one commercial hub maybe. Put down your unique, um, what's it called? Your UI. Mm -hmm. Gives you extra culture, extra gold, amenities, take a few minutes from the team, plus three at least. Um, and you can push that culture. On Rich Highlands, you should have mountains. Good, good adjacency on your campuses. Well, they did take out uh, let down England and then Rome. Rome actually picking yeah, up can't... more bands here. Interesting uh, that I see Rome that was quite quite picked in the last period because it was one of the ones uh, left open after the you know all of the others got banned. Uh, now it's yeah, getting it's more bands. Lens. You have your um, unique bath. Yeah, so you, you do. Yeah, you do. Much you do don't care about fish water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, early like you suddenly. Uh, you should be able but, to get a quick uh, it's still Julius, right? With the same bonuses, except you don't get the monument. Uh, it's it's not as strong in Rich Highlands. You're not going to use your warriors as much. It's I think it's a much better FFA pick. You're going to kill a barb camp. <laughs> you're going to kill a city state. You pick yeah, up a lot yeah. of uh, tempo. No, it's very strong in FFA. And you know you um city off some unsuspecting opponent and you have an extra wild card slot so that's pretty nice there's a ton yep. of rat ban but still i think the stronger of the two canada is still available i hear that uh, so often there's but i don't see canada picked at all okay well we do have uh, inga and russia being banned here it's just to be um on the list and montezuma being picked up by the sumer rangers mm -hmm. okay so uh, this, this is the roll. moment, uh, gold generators. We're gonna see gold generators. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Age of Empire. And then uh, hopefully one Tom Hub opener sieve. I mean, you can still go like Cyrus or not or Shaw. Um, you can go Leo. Uh, who else? Suleiman, a Suleiman could really make mid mid game goal, but I haven't seen it picked much. Yeah, me neither. Actually, at all, we we didn't see Suleiman uh, for a long time now. Neither Muhtesham or uh, Kanun. I'm I'm a big fan of Ottoman. I, I like playing it a lot because also once you get your banks up, you have a lot of amenities and yeah. a lot of uh, strategics. Um, I guess this is different in FFA and teamers, but it's one of the best uh, GDR pushers because of how much uranium you get with your uh, unique bang. You know, once you hit that reform the coinage, you should have around like 20 traders. You make 400, 500 GPT. Pretty good. Oh, there's Egypt. Yep. I, I was wrong about which Egypt, but I called out England and Egypt. Well, they didn't want to... You know, take a little bit of a risk here, right? Uh, Cleopatra is a little bit more spawn dependent than uh, you see uh, Egypt, the other Egypt. And yeah, uh, 
Gold here actually makes me a little bit uh, worried about their gold generation on less sumer ranges, but I guess it's on the limit. Um, we're gonna need to see. There's gonna be significant more gold on uh, battery of full charge builders, of, or at least that's how I imagine it um, should be. I don't know about that. Philip is a uh, comp hub slash harbor opener. Morabi, you should probably open commercials because you get the free market. Aztec usually open commercials, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's only gall. And gall won't be like minus. Um, so, and I wonder if Basil could pick up like tithe or something if they really need. I'm actually Does curious uh, how doesn't, Babylon doesn't is going to gold on. If he goes um, campus is into commercials or uh, directly commercials, I think campus into commercials, I but I guess it's spawn dependent also. Um, yeah, I, um, it also yeah if you're frontline or backline, um, yeah, I think if you're yeah. backline, commercial hub opener is better. You get the free market really early; it can be really nice. You get two Magnus yep. traders up super fast. Yep, yep, yeah. I've seen the players uh, about... more and more actually pick up uh, campus into commercial rather than uh, directly uh, commercials. Uh, on the dedicated ones, like Cree, for example, it's a no-brainer, right? You're on the commercials. But on uh, some others, uh, they're uh, going a little bit around it. Yeah. I think, though, if I'm not, like, super frontline, I'm going. Are you in the game, by the way? Uh, no. Did someone? I didn't see a link posted. It's in uh, lobby links. Oh, I think uh, that's no. uh, who are we... We're missing you, basically. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll just join off someone. I didn't see it in the C CPL 4.4 links. Uh, in the CPL Premier Lobby links, yes. There's a special uh, channel in CPL Premier. Yeah, I see the Civ drive. Oh, it's not highlight. It's, it's not in blue. Right That's why. It. Okay, okay. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not blue for a long time. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, you know, I'm used to like joining off um regular lobby links where it has like the dot like lobby link thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did they? Oh, yeah. Kuliasik. Who's Kuliasik? Okay, I think he disconnected. Um, I'm not sure. So wait, what do we have? Because uh, let me actually take a look at that. Uh, so we got on here, Baptiste, Bob Shu. No, no, that's not, uh, something else. Sorry. That's another game ongoing right now. Uh, oh, I see. Kuliasik is actually from a battery full judge builders with a hot sauce automation and uh, Michael. Let me see. So mm -hmm. was in the game. Michael with uh, hot sauce, Kuliasik and automation. Okay. And then let's and there see. Is, uh... Jofros, Jera, yeah. Sedition, and Tithub. Yep. Okay. Jeff is on Gaul, his favorite Civ. Oh, I need to uh, rejoin. Zero MS. <laughs> there we go. Groovy Thank you so much, Groovy! Looks like they're going with months. the double Egypt strat here. Cull Roman car pattern. Kyunos cut C sub new melda car pattern Roman sow Cyabanus cull Roman. St una dinta sele my mari C my re non might raise de cani din Romania. Assisti cani sunt kyunos cuti pentru marimi alo impunator. Potere a C instinct elder protecti. For sandu I bind pretiti pentru pars on the molala. In special in region I'll muntu a sail Roman a a. Masculia dubulti dinasiasta rasa pot cantari into 90 c 140 de lira, 40 panala 63 de kilogram, c pot of aero in all time de approximative 25 pana. If they can get some luxes up early for Scotland, like I'm talking like. It's oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Thing. Like yeah. if you can get like two luck if you can get like two luck saddles on the team, give it to Scotland plus three right away. That's super yeah. strong. But you might not want to do that on balance. Immediately. Uh I 
do you want to say who is playing who? Uh, so Kuliasic is going to go for Robert the Bruce Scotland. Atomation is going to be on Cleopatra. We got Michael on Victoria Age of Empire and Hassos on Basil the uh, Second. This is on uh, Battery of Full Charge Builders. On the other side, Les Sumer Rangers will have Tidhub, will have Sedition 37, Jofrus and Jara playing Hammurabi on Jara, and Beardix on Jofrus, Montezuma on Sedition 37, and Philip the Second on uh, Tidhub. Interesting. Mm hmm. Okay, well, uh, Jovros over here will. Uh, actually, I'm actually very curious about um, his spawn. If he's actually gonna get a good spawn with uh, multiple uh, stones around him, because we've seen that uh, I don't know, maybe like two out of like five, something like this, you get a pretty okay spawn with gold. But in the others, uh, you really are struggling. Yeah, um, I think more important is their strategics, actually, because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you know, you got no. I think that's a better pantheon also than the stone circles. No, I was more referring just to the GCC towards Opidums because uh, you want to no, get know, those plus fours plus sixes uh, immediately. Yeah, and you know, with, in teamers, you can have just also goes animal and tells you where the horses are, and you go straight Opidum. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, I'm worried about its ability to get the food for the next population level. Uh, it seems so slow after. I've seen a, him. You know? I've seen him open Magnus. Yeah. Still, yeah. like, you have culture, so you don't really need Moksha. You have culture in every mind. Um. So Jeff likes to open Magnus on. Uh, I, I casted um their last game against um. It was another French team. Uh, my chat is asking, where are you from? Me, uh, America. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. So, uh, <laughs> first one that we land on is uh, by the looks of it Byzantium, but my my chat has been asking me to talk about uh, them in team pairs. So, if we talk about Byzantium, we're gonna need to go through all of the others: uh, Age of Empire, Cleopatra, and uh, okay. Scotland. I got. I'm on Byzantium. I got it. Okay. So let's see. Dice for the free pantheon, basically. He's uh, gonna get a lot of pastures on the west side. Um, a few chops, not not bad in the capital. And I do notice he's gonna have a decent amount of fresh water. Southwest, north, it's Hero not fresh a to his right. Yeah, non fresh to the right. But it's fine. I mean, there are mountains over there he can act, act that chop and so on. I'm uh, very curious, actually, what kind of pantheon he's gonna want uh, in this location. I don't really see Not any immediate good one. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe, like even, maybe even open sky, to be honest. Like with so many passions, you can go for open sky. A secret path, uh, maybe. Let's see his appeal. I don't know. No, uh, uh, not bad. But it's gonna go no, down no, really quickly with the one. No, sec oh, secret, secret path, path for the adjacency uh, towards um, yeah, 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 yeah. holy sites. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that works. That works. Uh, who's the one next thing one? About, um, Michael? Michael? Uh, Michael? Yeah, we... Uh huh. Wait himself. Well, does he have a continent split? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Right away. Yeah, immediate extra trade route here for uh, Michael. That's that's actually going to help him out so much. Yeah. He obviously doesn't know it's iron, but you settle on the iron right there. Um, yeah. Look, look at his... Oh, my God. If he like were to open Artemis here, look at that. Wow, one four two 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 one three two two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is pretty good, uh, Artemis here. But uh, can he afford to open up Artemis? Uh, go uh, away from his no, no, no. Uh, celestial navigation. Um, without knowing this, I don't think you open Artemis. But it's just, I was yeah. just saying, if you were um, if you were Age of Theme here, you would open Animal, see the double horse, and you go like, what if? <laughs> <laughs> what if? Yeah. Yeah, man, these are like I, I tend to agree with Temple of Artemis here. It would be amazing, but I'm not sure if the sacrifice would be worth it at the beginning. Like, if you can get it uh, passively, you know, like after you get your two cities, maybe that's. Uh, yes, uh, oh my god, work. he's on the same. Okay, different team, but he's on the same sea as uh, Spain. Oh, perfect. So we got uh, we got some uh, punchy punchy going around here. Okay, okay. So yeah. uh, we're going to see Spain need to get some boats. Bandar Brunei, I'm pretty sure, is going to fall to uh, England. Currently with the free boats, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't really and... see that much territory here for England to uh, spam cities in this coast. So it, the south doesn't look that good. Maybe like one good city and that's it. And uh, the north so on the one. Jade. It's going to be just off the coast, but you like, here he has a sailing booth, settle on the jade, you buy out the tile for the harbor. 
Okay, two cities, and then a third one to the west of London, and then uh, all inland, unless he actually wants to settle directly in the Bay of uh, Madrid. Uh, okay, sure. I mean that might be a that might be a possibility. I guess we'll see. Uh, next up, right, let's, let's see. Automation. Scotland. Okay, we'll uh, go to Scotland. Egypt. Okay, okay. You want Scotland? Egypt. We can go Scotland. Okay, okay. Okay. So which one around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Scotland, Scotland. We go Scotland. Uh, uh, oh, this is sad Scotland. Where amenities? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I mean, here's <laughs> the salt up there. Yes. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> silver on the east in the desert because you know that's how Scotland rolls. They, they really like the desert, right? Um, it's J. Where? Oh, Shit, look, Amber, Amber, Amber in the south, the past the mountains, but it's uh, when, uh, oh my god, when religious idols, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know about this one from uh, Scotland. I mean, uh, other than the amenities, uh, like the like clear lack of amenities this would be a pretty powerful uh, stone circles um he has so many stones over here on the west side uh, like eight or seven or eight or nine uh, stone tiles now while uh, i'm pretty sure he's gonna benefit from all of the chops and all in all i think he has time to keep gathering amenities yeah and he'll put out his unique improvement for amenities it's just it's just no no yeah, tempo yeah. start yeah 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 all uh, right on to egypt it? egypt yes egypt Where animation egypt? he oh, delayed he delayed his settle. I don't know if you saw. He moved on to the rice mm -hmm. um, for the uh, bonus that he gets. I think at Code of Laws. Um, yeah. This uh, does not look on, uh, like an Adam and Anki spawn. Yeah. This is six blood planes. Uh, yeah. I don't think. I don't think Adam, Adam and Anki is the move here. Also, uh, opening builder. Oh my god! He's got Pai Titi. Yeah, he's, he's, there, he's next map. to Pai Titi. Yes. He's so close. I, yeah. I was uh, a, a bit, uh, how to say, um, uh, confused because you weren't talking about Paititi at all. You're talking about. Well, I wasn't what, looking what, at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine if he uh, was one pile higher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he did move from the south uh, one tile uh, into the river bend. That's what you said? I didn't see where he moved from. When I, when I got in, he was already moved. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. Okay, well, well, that's the only one that makes sense, right? I don't think he actually uh, was on the two twos. What, what does he see, actually? We can see what... Uh, yeah, he was on the south. You can see he has the extra vision on the hill there. Anyway. Uh, builder first for uh, Rakedet. No scout. And uh, neither did he get a scout by over here. Interesting that they didn't uh, get him a scout. What, it's usually like very important. the rice? Uh, <laughs> like, probably the rice and the wheat and then uh, he's gonna want uh, probably the amenity I don't know exactly if he's gonna go for irrigation plains. quickly or uh, go for s mining the wheat is not floodplains oh it is not floodplains yeah you're right well rip that just the, just the rice get irrigation boost the rice uh, banana and silk I guess and also I do want to mention the extra food from the rice will help him work the silk much easier and grow the population faster while he's uh, working two tools otherwise this is gonna help him quite a bit even if he doesn't have the extra culture this is still uh, good all right let's move on to Gaul okay let's take uh, Ambi, Ambi Oryx over here Aduatuka four tens for etc oh that's some production right there it's we a got two three fur yeah two three one tiles he here sheep a lot of mercury and look at the stones wow. he actually has stones oh builder hut that's huge you see that yeah i see i see i see wow improve the mercury right away that's a nice tile got the mercury in the fur he has a nice oppidum on the coal um obviously won't research that for a long time another nice oppidum it's got a couple to the left like inside the three stone and or the two stone and the iron right there yeah um, I was excited about stones, gonna... but uh, my excitement went down really quickly when I saw th those stones on the west side are kind of the only stones he has. <laughs> you know? uh, I don't know, man. Uh, one plus six opidum in non freshwater city doesn't really make me happy, you know? <laughs> oh, it's going be fresh. He's, he, look, look, he settles next to the two mercury right there. Yeah, yeah. It's a third ring. Third oh, ring my God. That is so much gold. That's a scout, right. bro. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Some would say the scout is more valuable. 
he probably is going to sell next to the um, first, actually. Yeah. Uh, we need to be a bit faster, though, because we're running out of time. Let's see. Okay. Uh, this edition. No, sorry. Uh, Jera, Jera, Jera. It's uh, Babylon, free dice. Uh, so it. dice. He's getting his faith. We got him with uh, good fresh water everywhere. Rivers, northwest, east, on a coast. Nobody to connect with, unfortunately. And, uh, well, it looks like... I like, like this uh, one. Yeah, it looks like he is uh, gonna be to the south over here of uh, Wait, Scotland. He's going. He's going holy Babylon. He's going holy. Wait. Oh yeah, he is going holy. He's going astrology. Or wait. Uh, or maybe he's going... he's going farmers. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah. But. No, anyway, it is what it is. No, but well, it, that means he, that he's gonna need to open up with uh, holy sites or you know discover holy sites. Anyway, uh, Aztec sedition, multiple continents. No, we do have him with uh, Seder coming up in six. Wait, yeah, it's his left. His left. What? Left? Oh, left oh, right, left. right, right. But uh, no amenities. No, not right, left. Left. Yeah, left. But uh, kidding, no okay. amenities. I said the right as in your right. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. well, wait, look at that. Three, two, banana, one, three, one. Silk, pretty nice. Mm, in the tundra, maybe some jade. And yeah, some details over there. I guess you can set a Lurulu just for the points and all of the amenities around it. Like it has incense, yeah, detail, it, jade, diamonds. If you settle <laughs> on city. the horse, if you settle on the horse, you get the, um, the turtle, the incense, and the jade. Horse. Oh, oh, on the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, so remap vote. What does uh, everybody think? Do, should we remap this or not? The uh, Scotland spawn is pretty sad. Egypt has a really nice spawn. He still hasn't met by a TT though. Um, yeah. England sees the con split, but he sees he's super alone. Three other teams together. Basil doesn't have a target here. Or maybe Aztec late game. I don't see a huge reason for either team to remap. Uh, I would honestly, if I'm Babylon, I'd remap just because I clicked, uh, I didn't click a uh, com hub. <laughs> Gaul got the builder hut. Uh, that's huge. That is huge. Scotland doesn't have any Luxus. Maybe the room for that. Oh, and um, Gaul immediately also... improved the Mercury. Ah, there we go. This is the map. So yep. this is the map. Okay, let's uh, put it up. They remap. Chat the was saying last... they remap, and also chat was uh, saying that um, it could be two holy sites into discounted uh, preserve Babylon. I've seen that before. Yeah. So yeah, okay, I on do. Spain. Maybe check a little bit when Spain. I heard preserves. Every time I hear preserves in a four v four kind of setup, I, I it makes me check a little bit. So Spain <laughs> can go send his settler right down to that jade, right on fresh. Different continent. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, we didn't talk about Spain yet. He's got the um, uh, truffle the, first okay, rank for extra gold. Well, the truffle extra gold from the beginning is going to be quite nice for them. Uh, and another city on the north with uh, extra truffle tile. He could even uh, put it... Well, I could act it later, to be honest, because it's not that big of a thing on uh, Spain. The J settle mm -hmm. also extra amenity from the beginning, pretty good. Uh, amber, so three amenities, quite easy to improve. Nice. Uh, I guess so the J he settled. Gaul settled rice by the fur. Where, where is he putting the opera in that city? So wait, 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 let's put a little bit of uh, structure into this because this is uh, chaotic. We take it from the left to the right uh, in the leader screen, yeah. or we take it um, on the on team just... basis. Just saying. <laughs> um, I just got the notification for the, the Gaul uh, settlement. Oh, because he settled Biprax on the rice. Yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's uh, uh, keep talking about uh, Tidhab here. He has his uh, iron on the west side, uh, on Madrid, in the second ring. That's also quite cheap to uh, improve. We do have him getting a builder from Bandar Brunei, and it's a three-charge builder from Bandar Brunei. Uh, I also see horses are going to be much easier to upgrade, improve in the second city that he's sending to the south. Oh, no, he's not sending it there. Wait, WTF? He's going inland with the, um, on the iron, iron time? Oh. Yeah. And, That's uh, going to be terrible yeah. for him once England sends out its boat. 
Yeah, well, I guess he does want uh, two cities in the southern continent, so it's uh, another continent, but still. Anyway, I would have definitely expected him to go for the Jade, not only for the extra culture, but the amenity from the beginning. If, uh, again, talking about the, the tempo increase that you get from those. Mm -hmm. These are uh, quite easy to improve and uh, quite uh, good. The truffle uh, upgrade with the extra gold, it's uh, very, very good at the beginning. Uh, anyway, uh, next up, Sedition. Sedition, who, where is he? What is he doing? Sedition. Oh, we talked about it. We talked about him. Uh, yeah, but the uh, strategics, we didn't talk. Uh, so, horses, oh, okay. second ring, uh, ex quite inexpensive, I should, I should say. Iron is going to be third ring. That is uh, going to be expensive, and I don't think he's going to settle a city there. He's going to need to buy it. So, we do need to check out if uh, they want to do a, like a night push or something. We're going to need to check out if they do have um, enough iron around them. Uh, Ambiorix? We'll get back to Ambiorix. Yeah, he is. Oh, there's war. Hmm. I interesting. Well, I guess he does want his mines uh, for uh, the craftsmanship bonus and uh, also to get that extra culture, well, okay. which he doesn't it's get. Holy, it's Holy Babylon. It's Holy Babylon, right? Yeah, yeah. there we go. And the Earth Goddess. Nice. So he's already making quite a bit of uh, faith. 10 faith at 10 from now. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if he's nice. trying to deny Crusade. He gets free shrine. Yep. Instant shrine. This is quite big. Oh, uh, so he's back to Ambulix. He's going to get it way before back. We do have uh, the horses in the second ring, which are going to be uh, okay to improve. Iron, again, third ring, very expensive on the same team. Uh, Jara, Jara, Babylon, let's see. Oh, he already put uh, his holy set on iron, so that's fine. Horses are going to be expensive for him, but the others have some horses, I guess. Basil the second? Still no second city. Wait, what did he do? Oh, I see. He spent a bit too much time to get the settle to the north. At least he's gonna get a 2-3 deer tile to work there. Two of them. Yeah, two of them actually, yeah. So he did put down his first holy site, but we still don't have him with uh, any pantheon. He's not making any faith, so I don't think he's probably using the um, production card, not the God King card. The third settler coming out, and actually, I'm very curious where is he gonna want to settle? <clears throat> the south over here. I guess this is the bigger settler, but it's very, very expensive. If he settles the rice oh, in the south, he's gonna need dice and the uh, bananas, spot. Maybe the olive on the lake. Mm, I was thinking about the left one, right? The one on the left. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that also makes sense to upgrade. But again, a bit expensive in the sense that you're either going to need to buy a 2-2 tile or, uh, or spend builder charges to upgrade those uh, pastures because otherwise it's going to lack production at the beginning. Well, I guess sacrifices, sacrifices. Uh, Michael, what is, does Michael do here? He's getting his three resources on the coast improved. Well, I guess we know one he's going for. Uh, God of the Sea, probably. Uh, we do have him on Celestial Navigation in four turns. This is 1017. So if he does put his harbors down 1021, uh, we should actually have him with enough time to go for um, Temple of Artemis. Like discover archery and try to go for it. Build a builder in the meantime and then uh, go for it. I'm <clears throat> very curious if uh, he actually decides to do that. I don't know if you saw Aztec just got a builder hut too. Another builder? Oh my god, man. And he got uh, his wheat tile improved. Look at that. He desperately wants his irrigation boost. <laughs> and of course, more food he in needs, Teotihuacan. He needs, yeah, he needs food. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm curious if he's going to go for... Uh, um, plantation Pantheon, the Garza Festivals, or is he gonna go for something else like uh, irrigation? Uh, yeah, irrigation? No, what, what is it? Not irrigation. Fertility. How do you call it? Fertility, yeah, fertility. the fertility. For the extra food on the wheat tiles, because he's clearly lacking a lot of food. And he might settle wheat here. Also, be good, yeah. Yeah, east side. Oh, it looks like uh, our mission is going at a monkey. I'm monkey three. I don't see anyone contesting that. 
Well, that is a big settle from Egypt. That second city on Paititi is incredible. He, he did get his irrigation, right? He's the first one to get it. I think so, because he buy has the builder on the ship. Silk, what? Why do you buy the sheep tile? Uh, for the 3 1 2 2, it has an extra production versus the mains. Uh. Well, we do have uh, Raked in three turns getting also Liang for that extra production. And he's gonna, unfortunately, only get, gonna get one single Sphinx, right? Um, next to Raked that, and the uh, Wonder. That's about it. Uh, what's Kulia Sik doing? Kulia Sik on Scotland getting his third to the north. Uh, unfortunately, he's not gonna have a 2 2 base there, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be uh, quite happy just. Uh, Benefiting from the other two tools and uh, getting the opportunity to improve the salt mines. He hasn't, he hasn't discovered um, Hamakala yet. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that uh, seems like a big whoops. Mhm. Mm uh, MS Dolly is also saying uh, Magnus will get him if enough food, so plantations are better. Mhm. Mm yeah, I guess he. That was a comment uh, from uh, Aztec. Instead of uh, fertility rights, he should go for plantations for the extra culture and then uh, get his internals to get him the food. Which usually, I mean, to like... be honest, Aztec does open up with uh, internals anyway. There we go, Magnus. He has three plantations. Yeah. Okay, big, big question actually. Is it worth the extra production and food that you get from the one trade route that you have uh, bouncing around to a second city uh, versus the culture that you get opening up with Moksha. Because by the time you get to two or three traders, like you get to build your markets, you get to build your right houses and so on, you're, uh, you're going to get enough um, um, governor points to actually It's 100% worth it. 100% worth it. Not even a thought, not even a question. Whoa. No, no, okay. no thoughts. Um, okay, okay. Like, because you get the, the, you can then build settler without losing a pop. You get the extra chops. You can chop out your gov plaza, your audience, your ancestral, whichever you're going. Yeah. Um, and like, England has a half cost harbor, for example. Uh, Spain, um, will can have extra uh prod towards their harbors. Um, you know, Aztec can use builder charges for their, uh district babylon gets a free market so lots of sips of bonuses to get their things out quickly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah also looks like another comment early culture also makes discounts difficult that is also true because yes. you go through the culture tree much much faster i saw the threshold over there entertainment complex and uh, theater squares that's where the the math starts to break down <laughs> you know? yeah it is what it is well, Holy Sites coming up from uh, Ansira, Constantinople, and I'm pretty sure Nicomedia. He did settle um, Nicomedia actually next to the horses. There's no tutu in sight. I'm a bit uh, concerned about this. I guess he's going to have the extra food pumping out from the cattle tile underneath and he will get the horses improved. But wouldn't he would be just safer if he bought a tile? I really hope he's going to buy a tile. <laughs> Well, he bought a tile to put a holy site, didn't buy a tile to actually build a holy site with. Okay. No, well, it is what it is, you know. Right? It, it, he made a sacrifice, at least he started working on it. And can't fault him for that. Babylon is going to beat him to crusade if he projects this. Because, I mean, it's Babylon already has 14 and Xantim has 2. Yeah, true, true. And I do see okay. Jar over here getting his uh, shrine in uh, Borsipa. Uh, he only got one shrine, right? You don't get the second one. You don't get them in all Correct. of the. You only get he it does first one. Yeah. In the first one. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He does one project and he has crusade. Yep. There you go. You think he's gonna go crusade? That's actually, I guess, yes. I guess so, right? Uh, but uh, hot sauce, maybe late game he's gonna fight Aztec or he's gonna fight uh, Babylon. Mm, I'm actually quite curious. Mm, you know what? I'm curious because uh, some of the players do go for this direct, like I've, we've seen it multiple times by COC. Uh, they they do deny immediately the strength the strength of their opponent if they can, right? If if um, for mm -hmm. example, I've seen them multiple times deny crusade. Uh, 
but most of the time the from what i've noticed the players work around crusade uh, like it, they they don't deem it um, a good sacrifice to make for their own religion like to switch their own religion he's hmm. going up he's going preserve <laughs> he's he's going preserves his second miss is one turn off yeah oh my I think we're gonna have a beautiful, different type of a game over here from Jera. Very nice. I am actually quite excited to see uh, how the land preserve is going on the look. Um, preserve on the one two two tiles north of Babylon from the mm -hmm. new city that's about to come out. Because you look at it's all like light green, and once you put the preserve, it'll all be um, breathtaking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, amazing. This is gonna look good. Okay, let's see. Harbor is already getting out. England does have his bows to go against Bandar Brunei. Bandar Brunei doesn't have a galley, nor a warrior inside of it. So I think it's gonna fall quickly. Uh, we do have the meeting. Uh, Spain with England did meet. I do see some Spanish galleys in the water, and I do notice a third one being bought here. I think they know because of the loyalty how this looks like or at least uh, how well yeah Spain, there we Spain go. England met also yeah yeah Spain. England stop on the warrior or, or the scout report, yeah. yeah but still they see they already see the borders the Gaelic scout got in and uh, they see the borders of uh, England they know it's somewhere down there and if Bandar Bune is gonna die I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a signal to uh, Spain that he needs to get more boats out he might actually even regret settling Cordoba off the fre off the coast mm-hmm Look no. at uh, Gaul, he's just going right for that off fresh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess that if you settle a uh, 2 2 base uh, or get uh, and get the bananas, it should be fine. He also needs to boost iron working. Well, oh my god, so this is like you said. You said that, and then another tile needs to be bought here, and I look at their goal pattern, and they're just not making no, no, no. as much. He's gonna settle next to it. He's gonna settle next to it. You think he's gonna settle directly next to it? Oh, I see. oh my god! Wait a second. Why is he doing? What is he doing? He's going full non-fresh, not even close to the mountains. Ooh. Uh, no, no, no. Um, okay. Goal? Maybe next yeah, to the south is. of the double south of the double stone, um, and then just put the up. Sacrifice plus two in the oppidum to be next to the iron. Yeah, I, I when I said that, I I thought of that, and then uh, I thought about the tutu base. So that's what I was talking about. But then I see on his waypoint that he's going on the flat tile above the stones. Yeah, and then put the oppidum uh, next to the iron. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. There's still uh, two tiles that he needs to buy and. Um... Also, a non-freshwater mm -hmm. city that will never get aqueducted. This is my surprise because I, I mean, I totally get non-freshwater cities, but most of the time it's good to have them in a place that uh, you can aqueduct them, so you can get the full housing. They, there just is a cap, right? Unfortunately, with yeah, he's, he's gonna use a preserve to get housing, you know. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, preserve goal. Yes, um, I can't. He actually said that with a straight face. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you I mean, I face, can't say that with a straight face. What do you mean? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, Cordoba is a weird settle. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What is? Yeah, Cordoba. I'm actually very, very curious to ask him afterwards if I do remember what is going on with this settle. Why does he settle Cordoba there? And then uh, I see him. Uh, in, my initial thought was that he wants two cities on the White Continent, but he then settled Toledo to the north, so that went out the window. Find okay, Brunei is about to go down. Yep. Yeah. Where is that where you're going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going down. Uh, Spain also coming from the oh. north is uh, plugging the choke. In Gala internals on England. Uh, we haven't seen this in uh, some time. I think, actually, no. We did see it last week. I'm. Uh, I, I did also try it myself a few times, but uh, I'm skeptical about it. It's, I like um, he, he went. He yeah. went culture from fishing boats. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume he'll go. Um, not free ink. I don't like the free ink play. The uh, pen brush with Pingal internals. That should be enough. Mm. 
very close up. And one one thing that I do notice about his uh, spawn here, he, yes, he does have a continent split, but no geothermals. And uh, well, at least he does have the turtle tile next to his uh, harbor, so he can put a plus three over there, a plus three campus. He also has uh, all those mountains right there. Yeah, awkward position though, because uh, usually from uh, your capital city you want to get your Gavron Plaza, especially when you're running internals, um, so you get the plus one food, plus one production, that's very valuable, uh, but uh, you, if in this situation when he actually needs to rush caravels, if because Spain is going to come down from the north at some point. Uh, I'm actually curious if he's going to make the sacrifice of uh, putting the Gavron Plaza somewhere else or going for the Gavron Plaza and trying somehow to get the food in London. Uh, I don't see him getting the food in London like that. That's a housing camp over here? I guess it is right oh, now. Oh, he didn't get his... Ball just pillaged a traitor. Ooh. Ooh. That's Why massive again. Well, he did. I don't know. Um, I don't know why England, he didn't enter the trader into the city, but yeah. England had uh, Sorry, two traders yeah. because um, he settled on a second continent. This is Age of Empire, and whenever he she settles on a second continent, um, it's gonna give her another trade route capacity, so he can build another. So she can build another uh, trade route. By the way, Zen Crusade on Babylon. Zen Crusade on Babylon. I'm um, okay, okay. I, that uh, just bringing me back to my, um, um, I say my thoughts about amenities here. They're becoming so important. They're massively important in in the games. Maybe not as much, for example, for uh, somebody warring. Even though, of course, you do want uh, the pro at least to stay at the content level. But whenever you're gonna be a simmer, you really need that uh, plus six. Oh, a lot of the times the players go way out of their way to just get uh, those um, amenities in their empire. You know, Babylon's gonna have a good game here. Uh, yeah, and first preserve coming up in three turns. No, he built one. No, 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 he didn't. That's uh, from Belgium. He's building one. Okay. And uh, what did the uh, gold do? Did he buy both tiles? Yes, he did buy both tiles. And wait, I don't. I see a uh, opidum under construction, but it's with a. Uh, never mind. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, oh, another pillage. Automation yeah. pillage is the oh. trade route of goal. Also earlier, um, Aztec got his trader pillaged by uh, England. So, wait. That was a 1-1, one, one, right? <laughs> it's basically 1-1 one, one right now. They, they no, got no, no, a no. trader for the trader? No, because England got pillaged by Gaul. Um, yeah. Aztec got pillaged by England. Gaul got pillaged by Egypt. Oh, I see. I see. So, uh, 2 1. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, the Eagle uh, Warriors uh, won't have a target to bully this game. That's uh, always nice to see, but we won't see that. Citizen 37 uh, is just going to chill out these warriors in the forest. They don't have any, any city state to go and take out some builders. Okay, everybody making it to the Golden Age. We do have Gavron Plaza starting to come out. Uh, let's take a look at the Pantheons here. Lady of the Reeds and Marshes on uh, Atomations Cleopatra. Basil went Goddess of Festivals. Okay, makes... Uh, half sense. Okay. Uh, Montezuma, we do have a City Patron Goddess. 40% towards the first district. Earth Goddess on Babylon, we've seen it earlier, is making already 22 Faith Attend and he's acquiring 200 in the bank before the fortress, before the switch of the era. Uh, God of the Sea on Spain. Ooh, Spain actually snatched God of the Sea from uh, England. Goddess of Tides here for England for the extra culture, and we do not have yet Gaul picking up a pantheon. But he did manage to get his extra culture from the mines, and I do see he's uh, getting Magnus in the city of Aduatuka. We did have him also uh, taking out that scout that got into his territory and pillaged the trader. Okay, hope you don't finish that, um, Pagaku. The hurricane off Gaul's coast is gonna can be some nice uh, yields for him. Yeah. The horse already improved by one food. Oh, fifth city actually coming up from England. This is uh, quite uh, greedy, but I do agree with his uh, expansions. Well, the fourth, the fourth city is Bonner Brunei. Uh, yeah, true, true, true. 
true. Um, I mean, I have uh, fresh in my memory what happened yesterday when uh, Man tried to go for series with uh, England next door to Vietnam, and Vietnam was already going for his horses while um, uh, mm-hmm. England, like Man, was trying to get his uh, general up. Um, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a, it wasn't really a good game for Man. Let's see this. But yeah, it happens. Uh, in this situation, I think it's different, way different because of the one tile choke between them. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Spain is not going to get his horses to try to take back uh, Bandar Brunei and uh, any conflict is going to happen here on the coast until maybe, maybe, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to see those uh, conquistadors coming out. But uh, wait, so we got the conquistadors on one thought. side and uh, red coats on the other side so uh, let's see <laughs> england is to get his own unique also another thought uh Agakum could build great bath for free housing the gall city off fresh uh yeah, yeah, yeah 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 extra wonder not bad and also he kind of needs the protection on that river i'm pretty sure he's not that uh, comfortable putting down districts or something next to that river at least he yeah, did he get puts, uh, a plus four from his capital. And the plus six. A great bath where his slinger is. Double theater next to it. That's... And because Gaul's limited on district placement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four cities goal here. Uh, no, Viodunum didn't place down an Opidum, but I can't really say I disagree with him. He doesn't have where to place. Oh, on the maze. I expect it to go there. Yeah. But uh, it's gonna take a while until he actually gets bonus on it. But yeah, I was thinking maybe he's no, actually no, no. gonna. What? It's automatic plus two. It's it's uh, strategic, not improved strategic. Are we? Oh, the maze in the north. Oh, I thought the oh, maze yeah, on yeah, the yeah, west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The maze no, in the north. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's a plus two there. Okay, so nobody going in Camons here. We do have religion from Basil, work ethic and lay ministry. Uh, Shrines and temples will provide him with uh, production and uh, he's going to get the extra faith and uh, culture. Oh my god, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. Free, free uh, growth. The, on the east? Yeah. Usually whenever I see volcanoes exploding, I'm thinking uh, the game knows something, I gotta say. The game definitely knows something. There's a uh, look at those uh, tiles around the preserve. That's like there's gonna be some conflict here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're talking about ba- 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 Babylon's preserves? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at these four, two, two, threes, and uh, stuff everywhere. It's amazing. So that's uh, coming up from all three cities here for Babylon. I would imagine he's gonna go for uh, monumentality, right? Moksha establishing I mean, in he's Babylon. Got 300 faith, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would imagine Monumentality is gonna be a no brainer. Uh, Aztec also coming from the south, uh, gonna get into the series of uh, Basil II, and we'll see what he has. Ast- Ancestor Hall also chosen by uh, Aztec as a specializing building of choice for the free settlers that he's gonna get and more production towards settlers. Mm, Rakete didn't actually start up building his uh, Gavron Plaza building. Maybe he doesn't have political philosophy yet. Probably on the stone. It'll be there. Um, here's a question. Why is he going Pingala in the city with Piatiti? That's a very good question. That is a very good question. You'd expect uh, Moksha over there to try to increase the yeah. yields of uh, science. I don't know, maybe he has something else in store for that city center. Uh, I'm pretty sure Automation is uh, quite aware of these little details and he must have a plan in mind, like a second uh, a second option that we're not seeing here. So if you look at Basil, he's got a settler on two and Gaul has a level two scout right above him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, where is Geoffroy's going to go though? Is he gonna stay around here for the next two turns? I think so. I wonder if it has the vision promotion. Yeah, it has the vision promotion. 
Mm, yeah, he's getting out. Okay. Uh, four cities from Scotland, by the way. Cool. Yes, he did uh, also make the sacrifices of getting more cities here. Uh, well, sacrifice. On rich highlands, it kind of is the meta. Uh, we do have uh, salt mines that will need to be improved. He does have a builder with only one charge, unfortunately. And uh, we definitely see him uh, needing to improve so many more tiles. He also doesn't have a pantheon yet. Now, Stone Circle is still available, if I remember correctly, right? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13 stone tiles, 14 stone tiles around his uh, territory. He also go Craftsman. He has two horses improved right away. He might want to chop the stones. Oh, he still didn't find Pamukkale. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that takes him a while. Also, oh, that salt mine is going to go bye bye. Oh, there's Pamukkale. Find the salt yeah. mine is going to go bye bye in a sec from Babylon. Oh, I see. Well, that's more gold. That's uh, going to be 2 2. Yeah, that's, that will be well, that will become 2 2 in the pillages and the trade snatches. <laughs> Quite a bit. Uh, I would say. I would say actually that they're uh, not paying attention as much, <laughs> you know, to each other's lands. Neither of them are paying attention. They're they're, they're trying to go for the cheeky p moves and they're doing them. But uh, whenever they need to take care of their own lands, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Babylon has a free building when it builds uh, first this for the first time of first district, so it makes the preserve pretty nice. Yes, if coal was at the place of Scotland, if only, if only, yeah. But Gaul's still having a very good game in his own right. Like he's making this work for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Sister Hall also coming around, and I do have to say he has a significant amount of territory here and a good ish territory to go and settle his cities. No, I should be fine. Now, uh, goal is next to Cleopatra on the right side, so that's an opponent, but it is kind of hard to get there. And uh, then he has uh, England in the south, right? That's it. He doesn't really have anybody else. Uh, I don't really see him sending any kind of unit so far in the south, to be honest. Like, we would need to see it a mile away, and his opponent would need to see it a mile away with the infrastructure getting built. I think Gaul's in a, just a good position to uh, sim and carry here. Yeah, yeah, basically. I think uh, he's going to slow down. Uh, we did have uh, the New Age started up, so we can actually check out their uh, Golden Ages. Penbrush and voice on Philip II, 8 Science, 19 Culture. Philip II still on three series, getting his galleys out and uh, getting punched in the face by England, bleeding. Uh, we do have uh, Spain also getting his uh, improvements on his uh, amenities. One, two, three... Wait, no, one, two, three amenities. So he's probably plus oh, no. three, right? Yeah, Hi. plus three. It's fine. Sorry, um, what did you say? I was saying that he got all three of his uh, extra amenities uh, up and um, he just bu he's just building his Govern Plaza. Am I the only one worried about his tempo here? Because it, it looks like he's uh, quite slow. Yeah, Spain. Yes, uh, I'm very worried. I mean, Toledo's still too pop. Yeah, but. exactly. I mean, I don't know. It's so weird, actually. I was expecting him, okay, to settle the cities in a different position, but not to be as late as he is on uh, Gavron Plaza and extra settlers. That's my main worry. I would have imagined already two settlers are in production. Okay, we got Here's one settler in production. Because like, get to build all four of those galleys. England yeah. didn't build yeah. a single galley. Yeah, that's big. That is big. That's like, what, six turns, maybe? Seven turns of uh, building galleys? That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's exactly the setter. That's uh, six, seven turns of uh, building a setter. Yeah. Uh, next up, so, Sedition, Montezuma. Basil, Basil's building um, some horses to and sending a trader to Singapore. Okay. Well, seems like that city's going to be close to dead. Ba puts him very close to Babylon. It does. And also, with that trader, he can settle another city on the cattle uh, quite easily. To reinforce the city of Singapore. That's going to be nice. Uh, Aztec. Magnus. A sister hall finished. More settlers coming around. But slowly. And we do have him with a Penbrush and Voice Golden Age. Uh, Joffrus. Penbrush and Voice Golden Age. 13 Science. 24 Culture. Uh, sister hall finishing up next turn. One settler in production. Coming out next turn. Okay. Jara 7. Oh, that's a nice campus. 
Sorry, go ahead. Jara <laughs> uh, Seven uh, Science Twenty Three Culture. We do have him on uh, three series. A very big preserve, and I do notice he's getting his fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh series uh, out from uh, his initial three. Very nice. Uh, hot sauce, eight signs uh, and twelve culture. You're saying he's getting horses, and yes, he's getting quite a few horses. Uh, very curious if it is to the south or if it is uh, planning something else. I would imagine the south, but at the same time, he does need to push back these Aztec units that are uh, just sitting around over there in the south. I guess uh, he's gonna sp spend quite a bit of time on a campaign with the horses. Uh, he will settle the volcano, he will also settle the river towards uh, Scotland, and... Wait a second, that's... That scout is getting in. That scout is getting in. Look the golf scout? Yeah, about? yeah, yeah, yeah. And see around the east side, the settler is not seeing the scout, the scout is not seeing the settler, they're... Uh, I'm also pretty sure Byzantium is not going to want to settle non-fresh on the olive. So, he probably uh, goes on the horse. Let's see his vision. Oh, moves away. WTF? WTF? <laughs> okay. Is Jofros going to come down? Oh, he's coming down. Check this out. He's coming down on the cattle tile. And it looks like it's a waypoint. So he might actually... Uh, move at the last the second of the turn which makes me a bit wonder if uh, Jofrus is gonna be, pay attention to this because usually when you have whenever you're gonna have waypoints on your uh, scout you're not really like the game doesn't really move the vision there right it just moves the unit and uh, totally forgets about giving a notification hey there's a very naked settler over here yeah no what is what? Egypt cooking pasta clean <laughs> commercials uh, above plaza boosting nothing uh theater plus zero theater buying all these tiles and neck in like i don't even know yeah yeah uh, okay we got three more right we got uh, michael penbrush and voice goldenish so he did go penbrush and voice goldenish he's also gonna chop his audience chamber from london and that will give him the extra food i gotta say i'm still not really happy with audience chambers uh, uh lack of food of extra food but it is what it is uh we do have um, a campus coming out from bradford only a plus one unfortunately and i do notice he's getting the other role in the video oh, cards oh, and oh. finishing up lighthouses wait, wait, wait. yes yes look at the goal look at the goal goal goal, 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 goal. The scout goal. Goal. From, scout um, is moving. Yeah, does he see it? I don't think oh, he, he didn't move it. it. Oh, he didn't oh, he move. sees it. He sees it. He sees the settler and the, the settler doesn't see him. This is oh my god, Jofros is gonna take it. No? Wait, what? WTF? Not what? He didn't see it. What? Oh, but he, did it was... see it. he did see it, you're right. He did see it. And the settler did see him, didn't it? No. I was uh, it checking has extra vision. vision. It it didn't. Like from I don't know they did, like it was weird one did see one but the other one didn't see that like the setter wasn't seeing the scout and the scout was seeing the setter but oh, anyway the, the scout hundred percent sees the settler right now and the settler does not see the scout yeah. Well, I guess uh, we're going to need to wait because just Rus uh, won't have much time. I'm pretty sure uh, Hatsos will try to spam B to get that settled down, but uh, yeah, he does need to get uh, also... to push the. To take out the forest Babylon? notification, right? Babylon has his own um, scout right there next to it too. Yeah, yeah. So if he moves across, it's still a problem. But uh, heal terrain, yeah, that's fine. Actually, he can move across and then uh, have enough movement to take it out. Anyway, we'll see uh, in a few seconds here. Atomation, Pembrush and Voice Golden Age, uh, 24 Science, 28 Culture, pretty big at the moment. And uh, he just keeps on getting bigger. Four series, 27 Gold, and I'm pretty sure he's getting a few more series, a fifth and a sixth one coming out. Well, oh, and this, wait, a fifth? Fifth, sixth, seventh actually coming out. And he's getting the first theater square that I see in, uh, in the game. He's putting it down from Abydos. Okay, settler, settler, settler. What's going on here? Is this gonna be... Oh, level 2 scout from Jara. He has the hill and the woods promotion. We got Jofros getting the scout right behind the hot sauce settler. And let's see if it's gonna take it down. Click, 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 click. Oh, he got it. Jara got, got it. it. Yeah, he took it. And yeah. And that's oh. why, boys and girls, you need to escort your settlers. And then just for... 
good measure, Gaul might just take the builder off of Antioch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, that's big. That is. I mean, it's yeah. a good thing that Byzantium already has quite a few cities. So the um, damage on his empire is not going to be like extreme. Uh, it's not one of the first ones, but still, that's a significant amount of damage over here. That's uh, what twenty percent of his empire because he doesn't have a fifth city. The thing that's kind of sad is like, you know, you're you're selling a city between you and your ally, and there's two enemy scouts there. Yeah. Oh, level two. Is Level two. Looks like uh, Gaul is trying to boost feudal here. He's got four farms out so far. There's the fifth. Oh, oh he's got six oh, farms. That's six. Yeah. You need to escort your level. Singles. You need to escort your second. Yeah, feudal next turn on Gaul. Hmm. Ancestral Hall on Spain. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, sorry, you got distracted to build a clip from uh, from that settler's snatch over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was uh, saying, um, yeah. all boosted feudal with uh, five farms. So feudal turned 38 pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. That was expensive though. Five farms over here, and especially he's not even working the farms, but I guess he does get a bit of extra housing. Uh, he didn't build a uh, great path though. So... Yeah. You know, he's always oh running the risk of uh, those farms just getting wiped off clean. Oh, a bit unfortunate. Oh, Ancestral Hall also on Spain. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Uh, he still has wanted to build it, though. So I guess it is on the way to settle more cities. Uh, two more cities from what I do notice, and he's going to get a free builder uh, in the meantime. Uh, still, actually, is hesitating to put a coast on the um, east side, even though I think it would help him um, hold that choke much easier with the extra health that he's going to get from the hills popping off uh, because of the tiles uh, actually acquired by a city center. Look at look at the difference between in England. 11 to 38 science 24 to 40 culture yeah 50 yeah. to 58 prod 41 to 62 food Th this was a very good form opening. yeah 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 it looks like those um those caravels and frigates are gonna come banging on the doorstep of spain, spain very quickly this actually makes me beg uh, like uh, makes me ask the question is he gonna get the safety settler out or is he gonna fight this to the death that's what that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at this. So Basil takes Singapore, puts him right across the water from Machuna, and you chop out one of Basil's uh, unique quadrimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, Machuna's yeah. dead. Dromon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, forgetting the name. Thank you. Yep. Uh, pff, you don't know how many times it happens to me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I have, I don't know why, it, maybe it's uh, my karma or something like this, uh, or my mind uh, works weirdly, because uh, there's uh, so many times I need to actually say I do not know to do something, I, or I cannot find something to actually know, uh, like, immediately afterwards find out about how to do it or how, uh, how it is. I don't know if it, that, that actually happens to you, but it's so weird. Sorry, I, I didn't understand. So, okay, you, you have a situation, right? And uh, you're looking for something, uh, or you, well, let's say your phone, right? I okay. try everything with, uh, like, searching the phone everywhere and so on and so forth. But uh, it happens to me a lot that whenever I say I cannot find it uh, to somebody or I say it to myself, I actually find it in the next few seconds. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you, you know, I like... Got it, got it. <clears throat> Yeah, and this happens to me also with, uh, for example, remembering stuff, like a name or something. It, I need to go through the process of saying that I do not know it to actually remember it. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, oh, audience chamber from uh, Scotland. He's not going to go very big in uh, cities here, and he's opening up with uh, campuses into commercials. I do see three campuses into two commercials. Uh, while Magnus is still establishing in the city of Stirling, he did choose to go for Moksha first. And, and God then, of Craftsman as well. Yeah, and God of Craftsman. Well, I don't really agree with God of Craftsman, but uh, it is what it is. It'll pay off once he discovers aluminum. 
Yeah, well, I, I guess it does remind me of uh, people telling uh, how important these chops are, like how important the stone chops are for uh, your uh, tempo. And I, I guess I agree, but I don't see him chopping yet. It depends. I... If, if he got the stones up very early, like mm -hmm. I'm talking like build, like seller, seller, builder, get, mm -hmm. the, get the stones up, and you have stone circles right then, then it's worth it. This point, if you're, if you're urban planning, you take your pantheon when you get your pantheon turn 35, then it's craftsman. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. The nations that have uh, volcanoes exploding next to them are gonna be at war or are already at war. <laughs> look, Babylon has a vol exploding volcano. No, actually, two of them. Antioch, right? Byzantium has one, and boom, they're fighting uh, in between uh, Singapore and Eshuna and uh, another city that Scotland is gonna put down. <clears throat> Man, this uh, this AI. I do see Aztec did get... Whoa. Huexotla so far in the north. That's still his continent though. Atacapotzalco still his continent. Uh, and I don't see him having access to more amenities from that city center. Now we do have great a move from Preslav. Yeah. Preslav did a great move here in blocking uh, Babylon's settler. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah uh, Pelgums are also starting to come out. This is gonna be Our massive here. Science. Whoa, 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 what, 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 what was the... only thirteen science from Babylon? Yeah, or only thirteen science. Well, that's uh, I want to say that's the disadvantage, right, of uh, preserves at mm -hmm. the beginning. You need to get the science later on. No, but I think he's gonna have more than enough here by the looks of it. Like with the Pelgrims growing his population quickly and uh, reaching new population levels to put down campuses, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fast to get back on the race. Especially since uh, what do we have on the other side? Hot sauce is eleven science and twenty culture. It's, it's not that big of a difference. I don't even yeah. see. Um, I don't see, even see. I would Robert have loved Rulus to see experiment. Scotland. I would this have loved is... to see Scotland set a one tile over. Yeah. This is so weird. He has so little science for how many uh, campuses he has. Hey, I know he went for the discounts, but it's only 18 science. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because like... there are like uh, plus one campuses, both. Yes. All three are plus one. Yes, all three. Yes. And the plus one in Aberdeen just got into a plus one. It was a zero. Oh, Babylon. Babylon sniped the city and raised it. <laughs> <laughs> go, Jenna, go! <laughs> oh my god. Man, he stole his settler, he raised his CS kill. Yeah. Hey, man, Hot <laughs> is not having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do notice uh, there is another settler coming out from Hot so maybe that's actually gonna go in the place of Singapore. <clears throat> Jeff is working on Artemis here. Uh, oh, wait. In cap. Scotland actually didn't settle this coast? I was sure, like a hundred percent. I was sure that he's gonna get the city on the on the coast. Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Hey, look, he's gonna engineer out Artemis. Is probably gonna, just gonna one turn it with the. Yep, there we go. <laughs> well, now the Gallic land just got a lot better. That's unfortunate that England didn't take it. I think he for sure had enough production here. I guess it yeah, is I what it is. Yeah, I think gonna use those for chops or something. Well, to be honest, I think uh, we might actually England see Madrid building. and Toledo taken down in the next 10 turns. Because uh, look at this, uh, Batras in uh -huh. next turn, Mercer is in 4. Already he has uh, two galleys, uh, 3 galleys with a level 1 promotion and uh, oh. a, he's going to have an admiral also for so, them. Oh, sorry, something not? else we forgot to talk about completely? Yeah. City states. City states. Oh, right. Yeah. Zanzibar, south of England, is already seized by uh, Scotland. He's got Amani in there. Uh, yeah. But, okay, that's two big blues. in Scotland. Uh, two blues. Nalanda is seized with Amani, England. Or, sorry, Egypt. And Hattusa. It's like it's only discovered by um, Sumer Rangers. And uh, Spain has, is putting Amani in there. Um, Kabul, which could be nice. Uh, both teams have found it. Everyone just with one envoy, kind of, and four, count them, four gold CS. Hey, we got some action guys, coming our way. Which, uh, where? 
Cordoba, Cordoba, Spain, South. <laughs> the great pillage yeah. begins. The era of uh, like the pillage. Well, it's the city center. It's a 32 defense train city. Yeah, you can imagine in with yeah, horse I mean, horses, you should be city. able to bam, bam, bam. You know. Just you have, you have iron yet? Where is this? No, he hasn't discovered iron yet. So no swords, no horses. Wonder Brunei is going to be uh, saved. He, I wonder if he's going to um, raise it or keep it or free it. If I'm him, I free it and take first Congress. What do you think? I got uh, distracted by uh, thoughts. Um... Uh, can you uh, let me uh, know again what you're asking me? Yes. So Spain, if he takes a city, has three options. He can keep it for himself, he can raise it, or he can liberate it. I expect the liberation, 100 Diplo favor, win first Congress. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense to get the free 100 Diplo. And of course, uh, still uh, force England to actually uh, spend some more here. Spend some more... Um, Grief, health, and so on. Yeah, finally we got some campuses from Spain and uh, well we're going to, need to see if he's ever going to actually get to Caravels because his mathematics, barely mathematics in 4 while Michael is going to get his cartography in 3 and he already has mercenaries. Uh, all of these traders and the production on uh, England's empire is looking nice. 75 production? Wait a second, Tirhav actually has 79 of his own. That's, uh, that's okay production, it's uh, his science and culture that's just not on par. And the difference so, between them is just going to get bigger here. Gaul is starting to tech um, astrology. I expect to see a harbor in one of his cities. Maybe some of or however you pronounce that. Some of and, yeah. yeah, and uh, mausoleum. Oh, and he got Divine Spike as a pantheon. I just noticed. A lot of engineers points. Look at that city in the north. Once he discovers Niter, that's a banger city. 9.2 uh, engineer points a turn? What? That's it? Yeah, 9.2. I don't think he has a single workshop. Not gonna lie. I don't think he has a single workshop built. No, he doesn't. And 9.2 points per turn. So he's gonna sell that city in the north. Maybe use the engineer to get uh, pyramids. Uh, chat is split, by the way, in their opinion of uh, if uh, they should keep or uh, liberate Wander Brunei or raise, uh, mostly because England would really take it back. And the um, uh, second one would be he needs to somehow get back um, on the advantage, but I don't think he can, right? Or may oh, no. I wait a second. He might actually do it. Because cartography is bad in two turns, and that's the only way England is going to get more. St oh, no, he there is another way. He can buy a horse. I hope he has horseback riding, but I think he he does. Oh, is he just giving up on that city center? Yeah, he's giving up. Uh, he shouldn't shouldn't have horseback. Does he? I don't know if he does, but I think he does. I would imagine he does. Uh, maybe you know. On the way to cartography. No, no, no. no but he not, did spend no. time to get the other ones also. Oh, no, he didn't. Wait a second. I just noticed he didn't even get his apprenticeship. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. He went uh, full in uh, cartography rush. Uh, I guess it makes sense. I think he gave up on the city already. He moved yeah, yeah, that way up. yeah, he did give up. And he's moving. He should be moving back. I did notice something else, by the way. In the annual screen, they locked them. Uh, England is on 13 points, but uh, he cannot pick one. Spain cannot pick one either. Uh, that's, uh, that's also going to help out Spain a little bit. There's not going to be that massive mm -hmm. uh, advantage here on England. They locked merchants too. 
Oh, who locked them? Oh, Egypt and Aztec fighting for them. Okay. I see. Uh, Egypt 2, 4, 6, 7 series already getting his uh, feudalism builders out and uh, trying to chop and improve everything. Oracle coming up next turn from Racket Dead, almost a 10 pop series. And uh, whoa, this game is moving fast. I can't believe we're actually 8 tens from the next era. This is uh, so much culture that we're pushing so quickly through. Basil struggling a bit. 14, 28, 5 faith return. Uh, even the Prod and food is behind everyone else. And minus GP2. Oh, another good question is, uh, do they have the money for the Caravel upgrades? Because we definitely have the boats. And Banner Brunet is dead. And Banner Brunet is liberated. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think the liberation, it's like, it's good for England because he can take it back really quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, he might liberate, declare, kill it again. That, yeah. Well, to be honest, it's still a hundred diplo favor on Spain without that much of a loss. It's just uh, England that's going to lose a little bit of health here and probably will get back that city and keep it. I don't think there's a way to attack into the city center with a caravel strength, uh, just with horses. No, he's going to need I would love a much to see stronger Spain... unit. I'd love to see Spain declare on it again next turn and raise it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that could work also. Still has two sources there. Best of both worlds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Well, next turn, oh, yeah, Michael is going to start upgrading his galleys. Uh, civil service in three turns, uh, so he gets his military alliance. Uh, okay, we do have uh, gold, just getting very big here. Two, four, six, seven, eight cities. Uh, I saw the Rovmila is still available with a charge. While uh, his capital is uh, starting to finally get some more population. He's uh, seven points of population right now with uh, two turning a campus. Well, I think that's actually three turning a campus. In the south, that's a plus three. That's a plus four campus. Oh, that's actually pretty good. What is the city of Lisa? What, what is this city center? What is this non-fresh water next to the volcano kind of like <laughs> thermopile city here? Wow. wow. Believe in okay. Jeff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just worried about the, that population over there. <laughs> They're living on the it's edge, you know? There's pyramids in, the, in that desert city. Uh, oh, in Lutetia. Yes. Yep. Okay, Constantinople. Did he put the city? Okay, so he put the city on the cattle. He's not actually going uh, face first into the water here against Eshuna. We do have uh, more settlers coming around. And he's finishing up his amphitheaters. No goal to speak of. And he does have only 46 faith with 69 production. That's a bit low over here. He did lose a city center. Well, I should say a settler here. But uh, yeah. Uh, I could definitely see him get some tagmas. Like, this definitely seems doable to me. Uh, he didn't get Crusade? No. Oh, wait. He didn't get Crusade. Maybe uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Unfortunately. What do you think of the of the Tagma's rate of success or chances of success to actually attack into Babylon and uh, do something about it? Take him down. Uh, no, they're going to be too late. Too late, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we do have the first caravel upgraded. I do see two, three got upgraded. I would imagine that's... Uh... Uh, one more, yep. Okay, four. It's enough. You don't really need more than that because of the choke. Yeah. I think he pre-built two. He can one-shot sure, the but... city of Bandra Brunei with the caravel. One-shot it. Just smack it down. Also, I do like that he immediately started making settlers here after uh, he got his caravel technology and got enough pay builds. Uh, usually the players do tend to switch immediately towards uh, quadrims, uh, but he has this this window of opportunity to get a few more settlers out while he knows he's going to have an advantage against his opponent for uh, the longest time here. Which who's going to get Niter? Or are they just going to no. go straight for um? That's a good uh, question. The U U U. Uh, I don't know. For the Sea Dog? I think he's still mm -hmm, Niter. Mm -hmm. I don't see Niter, though. Don't Divine Right, which I don't like. I would rather see a straight Merchant Republic.
Yeah, I don't see I don't see knighted in English territory. Anyway, this is a bit disturbing. Well, Maybe he be placed English. it. Shouldn't be England going for an Irish or someone else. Like Egypt. Well, sure. I was taking one by one. Uh, okay, so... Uh, okay, okay. I see, I see. No. Maybe not. No. I need to take a look at Byzantium. Byzantium is... It's going to have a uh, knight next to Ansira. Uh, you said also... Ptolemaic, Atomation, knight East of Thebes, second ring. One tile only. One tile. Uh, I'm actually quite curious if Atomation is going to go towards uh, military engineering. I, I would imagine he has zero interest in actually going... Uh, <laughs> military engineering it is not on his way he's going to want industrialization he's not in the uh, universities he's not going to want uh, bottom three for military units has nothing to do with them so the thing is with this fight one-sided it looks like look the spanish ship building too he's never going to caravels um mm -hmm. you need one forget that's it just one so take down all of spain well yeah so, or you could just do one sea dog. So, I would like to see, I prefer to see a merchant republic here out of uh, England. Unless he's close to gold and it needs it. Let's see. All right, right oh, now I, I see yeah, multiple yeah. problems uh, getting the golden age. Uh, Michael, for example, yeah. is uh, 46 out of 52 to get the normal age. And uh, that means uh, he's not going to get it. Uh, we do have him putting so, on more campuses, uh, more settlers and so on, but no unique unit inside. And I think he might actually want to go Dark Age here. It, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, so I don't see why he wouldn't go Merchant Republic here, especially because he already has the boost. Yeah. Mm. Well, he's going uh, Divine Right. All habits mm -hmm. die hard. It is what it is. Um... When you play enough FFAs, then you'll just collect Merchant Republic out of habit. <laughs> uh, on uh, Scotland, I gotta say, the Knighter is to the south of Forest, but that's not really a good city. Knighter would actually make him... Uh, make that city much, much better. And he finally started to get his uh, golf courses out. That means uh, more amenities here. Oh, no, wait a second. He's at the content level in his capital of amenities. Oh, there's no bonus here for Scotland. No bonus Scotland. Uh oh, that, that sounds that sounds very terrible, very bad. Anyway, he got a few horses. He's fighting Kabul. Kabul being sued by Jara by Babylon has a few horses coming from the south, and it looks like uh, we might actually see Kabul overwhelmed. Uh, sorry, uh, Scotland overwhelmed. Cause wait a second, look at this. <laughs> Kabul has two horses, one uh, archer and two warriors that can go against Scotland. And Babylon has more horses coming from the south. Full self. Um, Something kind of funny here. If you look at Babylon south of the cap. You see that uh, Scottish warrior? He's been there forever. Yeah. Oh, he, that guy got trapped. I see. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I also noticed he did manage to push back the Byzantium uh, attack, and now he's getting more settlers, uh, putting down an encampment from Algium, getting more horses, and finishing up his temples in his cities. Well, first caravel is going to start uh, doing damage, and I gotta say, Spain might actually survive this. He, he, he's not one. Uh, he's not one shedding the Spanish boats. Uh, Tirhab, what he does is he, what he is doing over here. He's trying to get as many galleys around the first one as possible, so he can uh, actually uh, switch them around, but uh, and give That's us my support uh, bonus on the galley. If you can last move, first move this. Yeah, this is very important. Last move, first move. Did he have? Oh, oh he yep, missed the go. first move. Through. Yeah, he missed the first move. Well, I guess all of that wall is uh, for nothing now. English caravels from the south are going to uh, come swinging. Uh, can he buy enough time to get his... Uh, oh, wait, he's going bronze now? Okay. Well, he's all over the place. I uh, gotta say... His cities in the north, even if they're inland, they're gonna be all in uh, red coat territory, except Valencia and Seville. 
And I guess Cordoba, like three cities, four cities are on the other continent. Oh no, Valencia is also on another continent, right? It's the white, co- yeah, there we go. It's yeah. the one continent on London. So Valencia is also, Valencia, Toledo, Cartagena, Madrid, Bilbao. Uh, and that's it, actually. Cordoba and Seville are not uh, red coatable. And Spain, I don't think he's going to have enough juice in his uh, cities to get to conquistadors and actually uh, spam them en masse. Do what needs to be done, get a religion and so on. So Scotland will unlock merchants next turn, probably. Ooh. So who's going to get the extra trade routes? Anyway. Uh, Aztec got big. He's getting a religion. And I would imagine that religion... Wait a second. He's getting a religion to defend himself, probably, from uh, Byzantium, from the north. And deny uh, um, taxes. And deny the taxes, yes. Uh, well, maybe he gives taxes. You never know in this case. Uh, we do have, especially when he's so close to his opponent. Right? <laughs> he's taking a chance here. Now uh, we do have uh, his strategy built in an entertainment complex. Markets coming around, more libraries, pretty good production from what I do see in his series. He's was 127 in total. Uh, that's actually three members from uh, La Sumer Rangers that do have uh, a significantly more production than their counterparts in the other side. That's like what 40 40 no 40 30 40 more production that's quite big anything happening in cleopatra's territory he was sending wait we were uh, asking what is he doing with uh, uh neken right with his um, pingala what did he do here he got his uh aqua industrial zone from that city center no this is from uh, rocket death not from that one Okay, what is he getting? He's seventh population right now, so he should put or want to put down a district. What is he keeping Pingala for? Is this going to be something for, related to great writers, for example? He could have used no, Swenna no, for that. He has Oracle and, Oracle and Cap. Okay. Is he just feeding Governor Pingala until he's ready to switch it in the Cap or something? Anyway, it is what it is. This is He's getting the points, don't get me wrong. The great writer points are not really in con, really contested here. 4.6, uh, 3.4, 0 from Scotland. Aztec is on 1. Really not uh, not contested. But still. Anyway, uh, what do we have England? 66 science, automation 48. Uh, Kulia is sick here, only on 32, but he did manage to get his eight cities out. And we do have him still fighting Kabul uh, and the units from Babylon. Babylon actually defending Kabul, not going on the offense here. It looks like also Kabul felt uh, a little bit uh, damaged and he went back into his cities to heal his units. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. I still feel like he needs a lot more food in the city of Borsipa, but he, he did improve the Wital. He never actually clicked on it to make the city work it. Now, mm-hmm. I guess now with um, the Palgum already activated, he has so much production from those uh, 2 for one tiles. Doesn't care about the food that much. Uh, so, um, oh, Stonehenge, Stonehenge next turn on uh, Egypt. Hatsos. Took, uh, Egypt? First trader merchant, and then yeah. Aztec will get one from the next era. Okay. So he got Coleus away from Aztec. This is the one that gives you the um, amenity, right? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, that's a good deny. Uh, I didn't notice uh, also he got Zankian. He got the trade route merchant also. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's going on here? This is massive, by the way. What Tidhab is doing to try to block his opponent and uh, get to his own caravels. It's, uh, I would say, it's quite an effort from them. I would imagine right now it would be also quite valuable to give him a library or two. <laughs> Gold by library. <laughs> so also this is um, the era turn. And right now, Egypt, Scotland, both golden. Uh, Basil, four points off. On the other side, Babylon, Golden, Aztec 5, Golf. Oh. Mm. Wait, is uh, Joffrey's gonna get it? Because he's three points off. Did he get it? I hope so. Okay, there's. And there's uh, Montezuma. Billy is by Hot Sauce. That's a couple of points there. Okay. 
Ok, that's on uh, Basil. He needs two more points. He needs two more points. And the Sedition uh, did get just two more points right now. He needs two other more points. Sedition on Aztec. Aztec, Aztec, Aztec. Oh, Tesla. his religion. He didn't uh, make his religion. Wait, can he? Yeah, press Yeah, off. he can. Preslav was seized by um, Aztec. By Aztec. Okay, oh, golden. That's golden. That's golden. That's golden. Yeah. I'm Rappen actually curious. Uh, why did he not choose to get his religion if he knew he could and uh, it would be easy um, to activate? It's to deny taxes without feeding it. Yes. So, what that means, if he has a religion, yes. he gets a profit. One fewer player on the other team can get a profit. And he he doesn't give Hot Sauce the opportunity to convert him. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. Oh, and I see, uh, by the way, Aztec is uh, getting units from Presla, Flavid, right next to Mashfa Sapir. What is what is going on here? Is this actually going to be usable units or are these just, uh, you know, whatever? It's for Golden. Yeah, but he could upgrade and attack Scotland. Look at this, how quick, how uh, close they are. He just yeah, needs to get all the he, times. Jeff got Golden, he's used Cahokia and uh, Rapa Nui. Yeah. Well, he got a few more units than he could handle there. Okay, what is going on here? England? Oh, not getting smashed more. What? what? Wait, wait, wait. He's bringing a settler. He's going to settle on the cattle and be able to push through it. Oof. Well, that's going to give him two tiles of attack and that's going to allow him to get uh, to swing at these much easier. I do have to say those uh, two scouts are going to be very annoying for him to deal with. That's going to be an extra attack move that he's going to need to do. Is something else. The scout can take the settler on the cattle. What? Again? Wait, what? What? If, what, what, if what? the England settler, oh, if he settles oh. on that cattle, scout can take it. Oh, yeah. The horse of England though cannot. Uh, the horse of uh, Spain cannot, unfortunately. But I think England will try to last move first move, right? Wait mm -hmm. a second. You, you last scout. move onto the tobacco. You last move onto the tobacco, and then you go onto the cattle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if the if he's gonna move the scout. And I'm not sure if he can actually move and take. Can he move and take? Like move in the water one tile and then uh, take it? I think he yes. he's not going to be allowed to embark, right? This embark, well, you, sorry. You, this you can't. Uh, I think you can go on cattle and then tobacco. I don't... But you, and you definitely can take it if it's on the cattle. Oh, wait a second. Cattle northeast. I was thinking... Sorry, I was uh, focused so uh -oh, much no, on the no, horses no. west. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. the, cattle's, the cattle's a better spot to punch through more tiles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would I like to see him see. bring his the horse out of Bandar Brunei to help, like, then he can just link it with the settler and not have it mm -hmm. to do some last move, first move, yes. Oh, Patrocin yeah. two turns for uh, Tidhub. Mason is next turn, so okay, he's he's getting there, he's getting there. It's just a matter of uh, throwing bodies at, uh, at these English boats right and keep going for his uh, campuses I, I still am a bit sad that he didn't put a third city on this coast anyway we're gonna have a pause for two minutes i'm gonna vote uh, a in me a in uh, t and a in me you go b b in me b in t and b in all right i'll also go get back food. two minutes
Nej, sorry. Need to uh, fix some thing. I've been in the past, uh, like I received uh, new PC parts yesterday and I've uh, been slowly building uh, the new PC, which should be the main PC soon. But um, the AIO is not working anymore. It worked yesterday fine. Today I open up the computer and it's not working. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, let's see what happened here. Uh, Ambiorix, Joffrus did get his uh, new things built, getting uh, culture bombs, olives, uh, duplicates will uh, will grant new amenities, and Ambiorix will gain two diplo points. Uh, we do have Ambiorix here. Well, it's just barely scratching the first on the surface in the diplo points, right? Four out of twenty. Did we have anybody on the other side get something? No, I don't think so, right? No, no, no points. Um, England still not moving the settler. By the way, the horse is standing uh, next to that settler on the west side. Well, I do notice uh, we do have him needing to move or either the cattle or the horse. We're going to need to see. I don't think the horse because, again, horse problem. Uh, but he does have a horse with him, so I would imagine he's going to want to uh, take it. That also, I gotta say, Tirhab is buying a lot of time. A lot of time with the positioning of his units. And this is extremely valuable time for him to actually get everything done here. Uh, so he can get to his uh, cartography and also have the fleet ability on his boats. That is also, that is going to give him an advantage over England here. Or at least, well, if he gets Gets there that's the problem another merchant has been picked up marco polo by uh, cleopatra we do have uh, imotep also about to be recruited by goal with 18 points i'm pretty sure he's gonna get there quickly uh great scientist uh, not yet at high not yet at uh, newton but we did have hypatia being picked up by scotland okay let me put my uh, chance back up over here and uh, so on and so forth. A super interesting terrain for the naval battle. Yes, yes, the one tail choke that's passing through. It's amazing. Uh, new PC9, how many screens do you use? I use uh, three screens. Um, and um, I'm trying to get the streaming PC going. That's the main issue here. I'm uh, trying to upgrade the parts that I have um, for the main PC and uh, take the GPU that I have right now and then uh, make a streaming PC dedicated to actually just streaming and not doing anything else. Uh, so I can... Um, so the first of all the performance of the games uh, will be better the uh, stream should be a little bit more uh, stable because it's only going to be one pc dedicated pc and uh, third of all um, i can actually do um, the animations and the graphics and the, what i do um, with the pc that i'm running on um, rather than uh, stopping or not being able to stream and doing the graphics the animations and so on and so forth i'm i'm thinking of actually uh, trying to get more streaming done like per day and so on and so forth and i have been thinking about it uh, for quite some time but mm, time limitations and uh, also technical limitations stop me from doing so anyway hopefully i'm gonna fix the problem and we're gonna get there i have no idea why the aio is not working and it is kind of a bummer you can imagine Anyway, uh, intelligence agency coming up from London. Uh, we do have settlers also on the way towards uh, new lands. Uh, we do have only one. Wasn't he building like three of them or did he get actually two new spots? Uh, no, no, he didn't actually. Oh, anyway, maybe I was uh, misreading the situation here. <clears throat> uh, looks like Babylon is actually not going to be afraid of Byzantium and he's getting uh, cities right in the face of him. Uh, I do notice uh, we got new builders coming around and I'm actually quite curious. Is my uh, Discord working? Because... Uh, uh, we're missing Amit, right? Oh, 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 all right. Never mind, never mind. Uh, I, I carry, I carry. Uh, we do have builders coming up from uh, Byzantium. We do have also Governor Pingala in that city center. He's gaining those granaries for the extra housing and the food. While I do notice that this did get put placed in a, a non freshwater settle, it's not that bad. Unfortunately, he cannot act conduct it properly unless he actually chops the bananas. That is going to be a big woof. Oh, I see. England is actually getting his um, settler over there. Let's see if the horse is also going to follow. We do have have uh, more breaches in the spanish defenses while yes there is another settler from madrid uh we do have uh, tirhav six turns out from cartography he's just getting two campuses so this might actually put him just a few turns out uh oh no that wasn't that big that wasn't that big at all well wait a second oh i see well one campus actually uh, did delay himself for five turns for cartography that is not good <laughs> 
Uh, these uh, English uh, caravels do have a problem actually punching through the galleys and I do notice uh, Spain is just sacrificing his galleys uh, with strength so he can actually have a full strength one in the front line. This will still require at least three attacks uh, to actually take out both of those units and that is the reason why England is uh, getting one of his cities out over here so he can actually pass a little bit faster and also be able to hit uh, multiple boats of uh, Spain doing more damage. I'm actually a bit uh, curious why uh, Tilhab is doesn't keep on building galleys because i'm pretty sure he's going to need to upgrade uh, everything he can over here uh, especially with how big of a fleet so there are i guess two things that he can do try to slow this down and in the meantime just settle 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 more cities and uh, give up on the two cities he has on the coast which kind of seems to be the choice that he's making or of course try to fight this out and that means building up a lot of galleys and uh, also having the enough having the gold necessary to upgrade them at the correct moment in time i don't think there's a third choice here like the third choice Sorry, to the... Uh, i'm back now. Yeah. hello hello welcome I think the third choice would have actually been for Spain to defend uh, the choke point. That's what I was talking about here. Would have been to put a city there with Victor and uh, try to get um, walls up with uh, catapults next to it. But that would have been so expensive and um, not really worth. What is it? I'm. Uh, so I, I gotta say, Tidhab. Tidhab's reaction to what's going on is to expand as much as he can on every inland city. So he's giving up on those two cities, but he's getting everywhere else. He also, um, England did bring the horse over to the settler, like I uh, suggested. Yeah, I wanted yeah, him yeah. to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's ready to go. He's ready to go. And I, I gotta say, he's a hundred um... science already. A hundred science and forty-four culture. I would imagine quad. Oh, to build sea some, dogs. Uh, sea dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah sea yeah. dogs. Universities. Yeah, I mean, even if Spain is uh, trying to get that science up, uh, there's been so much difference building up between them. Like more than more than half, more than half of the total science of Tidhab did get acquired by Michael. Oof, that's big. Okay, we got Aztec actually. Wait, not really pushing with men at arms, but pushing Scotland while Scotland is getting uh, horses to deal with something happening in his territory. I mean, this is a uh, this is bad for Scotland. This is really bad. Also, Kabul is bullying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, the, the thing is, the Scot. Uh, why do I say it's bad for Scotland? Not because he's getting attacked. It's fine. He can defend quite easily. But the problem are the amenities. <laughs> you're going to start, whenever you're fighting, you're going to start losing amenities. Coliseum done. Yeah, uh, oh, Mausoleum. He did get Mausoleum. Love to see that. Good, good, good. Wait, who, who, who? A goal? A goal, a Mausoleum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. And he's getting a holy site. I see yep, he's getting a holy site. Another taxi fire. Yeah. Okay, what's going on in the choke point? uh more delays here spain oh my god this is i gotta say you gotta admit admit this is uh so so good from tirham what he did to deny his opponent it's gonna end things plus michael's got a knight <laughs> yeah michael does have a knight uh and these three tens cartography Okay, that now I think we know, we 100% know that Hidhab is going to have a fighting chance here. Yeah, I would like to see more um, galleys though, like you said, but also to pour them up like Spain can. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Um, I do have to say Ambiorix could actually get, uh, he did get a harbor, right? So he could try to get the project in quickly and then uh, he got two harbors and then uh, open up the animals. It, I think it would be important for Spain to also have an animal, but I guess England is over there with enough points to get an animal for his own anyway. Let's see, there will be four, each of them I think 60 costs, so that's two, 240 points. If Spain can project out 240 points, then he can... Yeah, no production for that. I think he wants it, but no production for that. I mean, in Se Seville and Cordoba, like, those cities aren't producing votes like they should be able to. Wait, prediction is... Uh, what's going on with the prediction? Give me a second. Uh... Yes, the money. prediction is submission closed. I'm sorry. 70% uh, on uh, the chat is saying 70% is saying on uh, BOFCB, Battery of Full Charge Builders. 
70%. No, I, They're giving them 70%. That is, like, that is quite a lot. I like the Sumer Rangers. I think Ball can carry this game. Uh, true, true. And I do like how also Montezuma is getting his empire done over here. I, I really like how he's uh, trying to get as many cities, getting the denies, getting also the pressure on his opponents uh, on uh, Scotland, for example. This is also major. Uh, slowing down Scotland is is uh, big and with so such a cheap attack like he paid like what a hundred and something gold on preslav and he got so many units and that's it's really cheap for uh, for them at this point in time uh kabul attacked on his own and only two horses came from jara <laughs> then, 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 i gotta say the scottish defense yes sure it was on point he didn't get uh, pillages but the amount of production he needed to spend and the amount of amenities that he needed to spend on this uh, is so big that it's slowing him down in uh, by an incredible margin right now by an incredible factor yeah uh I, we see gall starting to project scientists um this is i guess this will be the last one from the or... medieval yeah no there's one more there's the um faith one hildegard this didn't we see hildegard earlier no abu abu never mind I, we got abu I, yeah yeah i was looking at the previously recruited mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So okay egypt so morgalis Morgal from spain and you're saying egypt sorry egypt what uh egypt got the other trader merchant from the, this era oh marco polo yes yeah and, then and uh, look at the Look at the golden trade routes towards the city of Cherson. The golden mm, trade routes, man. Egypt, uh, yeah, yeah, Swinet, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just get the arena oh. in there in the Swinet and that's it. Boom, the gold. Hatsos, miraculously, is now a positive gold. I don't know what happened, you know? <laughs> Not a single oh, yeah. commercial in his empire. <laughs> but he's miraculously... Six traders. <laughs> Six traders go to that city. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, okay, so Preston got settled, it's uh, rebelling in 8 turns, uh, Michael is in a dark age, so yeah. I do have to say, uh, England uh, should have the ability to put a plus 5 uh, dark age card also. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I saw it, I don't think I saw it. Oh, yeah, he does it, he does have it, never mind. Man, those are oh, some, yeah. some strong, brave Wait, men in the galleys. He doesn't have Ollie Legacy though, in. Unless he's in Oligarchy? Oh, he's in monarchy. Uh, yields? Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so I think Spain has more than enough boats next turn to upgrade. And to be honest, I would I was expecting England to do a lot more damage against his boats than uh, he did. But uh, England just did not push further until he got that city center, which I also kind of understand. He does want to get that uh, much easier punch through. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't do enough damage to the Spanish boats. So now Spain will get the fleet ability and he will get uh, his cartography next time. Do they have uh, the gold? We... Sea dogs are up. Huh. Yeah, they do. What's with the sea dogs? They're coming? They're coming? Yeah, they're coming. Uh -huh, we got one. We got one already on the way, another one next turn in Bradford, two more turns in Plymouth. Yeah. And it looks like he's but, rebuilding red, uh, Redcoats. This is where it's uh, gonna stand, though. Like, the strategic battlefield next to Preston. It all depends on how many... Uh, how many of these uh, Sea Dogs you can actually put to the fight. And you can't really... He's just on a Siege Tower. He's going for Redcoats now. He's going for Redcoats. Oh! We're in for a treat. Oh my god, I didn't know it's my birthday. Okay, very nice, very nice. And no conquistadors from the other side. Well, I guess you can't have, uh, you know, your cake and eat it too. It is what it is. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Foreign Ministry coming up from Babylon and Gamma training from Malgium. Okay, we do have Babylon actually getting a uh, general for himself. Byzantium did get one Burika, and I do see him actually moving his units towards his opponent. Not sure if it's uh, gonna be Aztec or is it gonna be uh, Babylon on the wrong side of hot sauce, but there's somebody that's gonna get the sauce. RIP, uh, RIP the farms in Gaul. Oh. Flood King, oh, rip. yeah. Well, I mean, you called it great. Uh, great bath would have been amazing here. England also getting an escape settler out towards Egypt. Well, one good thing about this um, 
I want to say this flood is it didn't actually take out the farms it just pillaged them so you can yes. just use the builder and uh, repair them instead of spending charges which is pretty powerful pretty pretty good okay so spain 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 this is the moment we have been waiting for a myth has oh been my God. disconnected what the fuck oh my uh, god Amit. Minus seven gold England. Wait, yeah, minus thirteen right now. Gold England. He's just not getting the gold. Or I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not working the correct card or the correct card, the gold cards. He's not working the gold cards. <laughs> I don't know what happened because, like, I'm very stable in games and stuff. But uh, I tried casting another game, and I also dropped at one point. I'm not really sure what the... Uh, maybe BSM, I don't know. Yeah, DirectX 11? Like, did the game crash, or screen crash, or uh, just uh, disconnected? No, no, it just dropped. Yeah. Just dropped? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'll try rejoining, but for the sake of their game, if I'm starting to... Um, I mean, I can uh, stream for you. You have uh, 1440p. Then, yeah. Here. There we go. Wait here, I'll... Yeah, I look at the stream on uh, Discord, it's much better. And, like, it's uh, lower uh, latency. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I said the F word, I'm sorry. Uh, if I, yeah, I would just drop if that is okay. Okay, well, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. And the big moment we have been waiting for. We know we went back to where we were. Uh, let's see, Spain actually getting his uh, cartography going. Mm. Oh my, it is yeah. Anyway, uh, we do have England also punching through the choke point. Now it is impossible for Spain to actually keep that uh, unless he does get his upgrades going. He did move back his galleys uh, and uh, will require quite a bit of gold from his teammates, which he is getting. Uh, let's see how many of these uh, can actually hold on England. Hold England. Uh, can they? Uh, they can actually. Wh what? What? They're actually stronger than the caravels of England? Double oh, plus mm. six Intel. What? <laughs> Wait, where is Whoa. this coming from? Plus six Intel. Fine printing? I mean, sure, but where's Spy? There's no Spy. There's, there's no Spy and there's... Uh... How does he... I don't know, wait. Is it uh, England that has a plus six or the other way? Oh, no, it's England that has a oh, plus England. six. Yeah. yeah, England is... Uh, yeah, he does have a spy in Toledo, and I guess you're right, he does have a spy. But even even like this, the Spanish caravels are stronger than the English caravels, and I'm wondering okay. why. Okay, we got the plus five from uh, the Dark Age, okay. Oligarchic Legacy, Military Alliance, that's what's missing? Oligarchic Legacy? Yeah, that's what's missing. Oh, England doesn't have Oligarchic Legacy. He is using what, Twilight Valor? And... Oh, he does have the card, he just didn't put it in. He's uh, trying to get Surf Dorm for the builder charges. Oh, he, he put it in now. England England has a all white legacy. He put it in? Okay. Okay, there we go. No, no, it's no, a little Spain, bit meta. Spain does have plus six intel. Which I don't, I don't know how. No. No, no, it's uh, England. For sure, it's England. Anyway, uh, let's see on the oh, other side. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's weird. Like, cause yes, I, I know, I know. Okay, okay. I I went exactly through the same thing. I totally get it. It's fine. <laughs> let's move forward. With, uh, like Scotland, the, on the left displays on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Aztec still pushing Dundee with just warriors. These are some incredibly uh, courageous warriors going into that city center. Uh, we do have uh, more campuses from Byzantium. And he's getting his tagmas, by the way, the free tagmas from his hippodromes. It looks like Aztec might be on the receiving end. But to be honest, Aztec kind of has this in the bag. He has quite a few swordsmen that uh, 
did get uh, recruited and put to the north 74 science 85 culture and uh, he should be yeah he's getting his machine in two turns while uh, meta times he already has the technology one turning meta times from his uh, second city not even his capital his second city uh gall got newton by the way that's massive and will uh, ip kaldun get recruited by uh scotland i don't think so well, I don't really believe Scotland is going to get that many amenities. Maybe I'm not a believer. I don't know. Maybe today I'm uh, I'm the, how to say, the counter guy, you know, the one that always says uh, the opposite. But uh, he's only a plus three right now, and I still see him fighting. He's uh, managing to get some more amenities on the east side. I see he's going for that silver, for example, uh, but having a hard time to actually improve uh, every one of those amenities. What did he get now? Oh, he never actually settled the uh, one lake tile next to Dundee on the east, so he gets the amber. Does he have and the truffles? Does he have amber from somewhere else? I don't think so. No, he doesn't. So, s salt mines. Eh. Oh well. Could have been so much. Okay, more uh, caravans upgraded. And still, just, the caravels it, of Spain are stronger matter, than the England. England has too many now at this point. It's pushing uh, through with the sea dogs. Let's see the fleets. There's a, I would say, a golden number of attacks that you need to withstand, right? So you can get your um, uh, upgrades going. And it might be that getting fleet would put him right there right on on that magical number so he's not, his boats are not gonna die and they're gonna get the promotions if they start getting promotions it's gonna be harder to kill them and he's gonna get uh, to upgrade more in the back line maybe even hard build but i do have to say if uh, this also relies on england not being allowed to get out in full swing so he doesn't get his numbers but it looks like that's kind of a yeah there's subject. the decent i'm gonna just go ahead and watch your stream after i'm gonna drop so they don't have long rollovers and just watch your stream uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, is the GPT from Egypt and Babylon matched by the other team? Otherwise, it's GG. Uh, not really matched, but they're doing okay. They're doing what they get right now. Jara is on 89 gold. We got Jofros on 35. Sedition is 45 and Tirhab is 35. Uh, I guess they could be doing much better. Uh, but um, gold... Uh, what do you call this? The gold values uh, associated to each the civilization is uh, differently spread between the teams here uh, by the looks of it automation is the goal generated on uh, battery of full charge builders while on the other side well as you can see we don't really have that uh, we do have uh, campuses coming up from Memphis and Swanet uh, campus research project from uh, Nikken and I do notice he's getting a great writer over here and automation just keeps on uh, rolling his uh, his things There's going to be quite an explosion in uh, science in um, Gallic, Gallic territory. He's getting uh, now those uh, campuses everywhere and building them with uh, universities. This is going to go fast really quickly. That's uh, him on 300 production right now with Jara on 223. Uh, Automation is struggling on 199. Uh, Kuliasak is on 171 and then Hot Sauce is 151. Are the Tagmas moving anywhere? No, they got in a little bit to create some discovered dynastic territory, but oh, well, just horses, not Tagmas. Uh, we got some Tagmas coming here. That yeah, he stopped. Yeah, yeah. He made a lot of entertainments and arenas while he didn't have Tagmas finished. I would have liked to see him keep those on one turn. Yeah, that's true. Wait, uh, that so happened? I thought he actually spend... pre-built the heavy chariots, not actually finished the hippodrome. Oh, did that? Interesting. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, that's a very good question. Did he or did he not? Hmm. Maybe, maybe those are just heavy chariot builds. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Not sure. I don't think he got that many. So let's see. Hippodrome, so he has one. And it's under con uh, one constructed and he's getting the arena next turn. That's it. One constructed. Oh, oh, no. yeah. So he got one Tagma, then two Tagmas probably upgraded from somewhere else. The second Tagma. It's fine, it's fine, he's uh, he's fine. 
Now, okay, what's happening with England and uh, Spain here? Because it, it does look like they're trying to put uh, the pressure on, and I think Tithab uh, actually made a mistake putting the galley in front. I do think uh, that's a sacrificial lamb, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, galley is going to be eaten alive. Oh, there we go. Actually, uh, got recruited by the great empire of England, the forgiving empire of England. I'd like to do that admiral right up there. <laughs> Unless that's a quadrum admiral. Uh, to be stockless? No. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's quad quadrum. Quadrum. Um. Oh right. Is there any? Yeah. Is there any um news on Gaul recruiting a uh, admiral? Uh no. From um, admiral. admiral. projects. Yeah, I was watching okay, his true. coasters. What are they doing? But they're not doing projects. Uh, he's still on two great admiral points at ten four turns so, away from actually recruiting it. Yeah. I guess it will happen, but not quick it won't matter uh, yeah yeah also gotta say uh spain does look like uh, he's on the defensive over here he, he's 100 uh, gonna be pushed like this it's too late now he didn't uh, actually manage to keep them in the choke points and the second these uh, sea dogs can actually shoot from multiple sides it's over look at all, all lapping the field in production oh yeah 310 production this is insane and i, I was saying he's gonna get so much science here so quickly uh, he's only on 90 right now, but with so many campuses and universities finishing, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go uh, quickly up higher. Um, is he uh, he um is he getting Ibn yet? Is that close? Is he getting what? Sorry. The happy scientist. Did the happy scientist, Kialdun. Somebody got it. Uh, ah, Egypt. Is, yes. Uh, Babylon getting his universities also. I do notice he's building a few courses. Maybe he actually wants to uh, do some offensive uh, maneuvers here. I also see that Scotland is starting to move his units towards Kabul. Uh, we got the Tagma still moving south. They might actually go and uh, attack Sedition over here. But I think Sedition has this in uh, like this defense is okay. We don't need him uh, to flex that much. Yes, he's uh, many times already out, uh, knights already out, they can uh, definitely keep the horses and the tank was at bay. Uh, so he's building walls, but like, what's the point? It already has Basil's religion. Ooh. England just made a big mess over here, actually recruiting more English, more, uh, more of these uh, Spanish caravels to his side. And um, Spain is not... Uh... How to say, uh, not stopping upgrading his caravels, he's actually giving them to his opponent right now, in a sense. Well, it is what it is. Um, Madrid and, and Toledo are gonna die. All those, all those um, districts are on the coast for the sea dog to pillage. Yeah. He needs to get there first. But he's gonna get there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> look, look at the science on Babylon. Jumped up to 152. Just uh, casually jumped up. What is this? Getting harbors out for the bigger economy. And we do have him with a general Timur to the northwest. And uh, getting some industrial zone logistic projects. Wait a second. Why is he building a quadrum in the south? Is, uh, is he? Oh, he's sure. going to want to kill the warrior with it. Kick. <laughs> naval tradition naval tradition boost <laughs> wow <laughs> i thought spain would hold yeah yeah i, would, I thought uh, spain would hold also but it looks like uh michael did figure out the one way the chink in the armor of the defense and he managed to punch through uh, i do still like more the production capabilities and uh, the stats on um uh, let's assume rangers but i think there still are some chances over here for uh a battery of full charge builders to keep on going get a victory in some way form or another i guess it's all gonna depend on uh, what uh, egypt setup is gonna be a little bit later on in the game when we're gonna see him uh, needing to keep on the same level as uh, ambiorix or um, babylon and i think ambiorix and babylon are gonna be stronger that's my that's my it, um... impression about this uh, like how they got the setup going that how they uh, how their empires are working right now did did um Gaul take a profit in the end? Uh, goal, 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 goal. I don't know. I don't think I saw one. Did he deleted. I thought I saw a holy site, right? Check the great. Yeah, people. he does have. He does have a holy site and a temple with a shrine. Uh, he doesn't have a religion though. 
Okay. Maybe maybe he sent it I'm, somewhere. Oh, <gasps> Look oh. at this England. What is this England? Gonna, wait, what's the consulate? What? Is there a consulate between him and Gaul? Yes. He's on the red continent. Oh, oh. He can, uh, but I mean, that's red still 125 science uh, goal. He should have the production and the Wait, units. His red coast next turn. Oh, oh, that's gonna be big. That is insane. Okay, th this is gonna does, be nice. Wait, does he have? Did he tech muskets and men at arms though? Mm, good question. I don't think. Uh, no, he he doesn't have neither men at arms or so. That's like four or five turns away. Okay, I mean, that's still a good enough time. He's planting the city, he's getting more units there. He's uh, he's gonna one shot probably the horse or two shot the horse that's defending, and uh, he needs to be careful not to give up on his plan. Like, if he puts a city there, I think it's gonna be easier to predict that Gold does need to be, um, defend a little bit more in the south. Yeah, ancient walls uh, slowing down a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to stop these uh, sea dogs from actually punching through and eating the walls alive. Gozakibo, uh, hello there, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Babylon. Seven traders right now from automation towards his ally. I do see three members from uh, Battery Full Charge Builders also managing to get more than 100 signs. They were a little bit late, but they did, they did manage to get there. And it doesn't seem like the difference between them in the total science acquired is that big. So I would imagine uh, we're going to need to keep a watch to see how things are going to evolve. I do believe uh, Babylon's ability to get so much extra food and good tiles to work, especially in a plains uh, environment. That he does have what he needs to make the correct moves against his opponents, like for example, Byzantium is quite uh, quite a target, could be quite a target for him if he does manage to get to uh, tanks much earlier. Not to mention he can uh, attack Scotland in the north. Uh, Scotland is still struggling to get everything done, but I do see him with a much better setup in science and culture. We do have him with 205 uh, also points of uh, production while he's going to start pillaging and get some more yields from Kabul, finally getting back at that city center. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Scotland, go back up to Scotland. Yeah, he yeah. used the tile by merchant in Dumfries to get the silver yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Four tile out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You play that's I like it. I like it. I mean, uh, who doesn't like to go and play golf and then you know casually swing at the silver, go grab some silver and uh, <laughs> go back home. <laughs> it is what it is. We got Niter next turn on England, which means gunpowder the turn after. Oh, that's another thing. Only Kuliasik is making uh, Niter on their team, on uh, the English team. They might not have that much Niter to upgrade, but I guess they might create or acquire a decent amount. In the meantime, wait a second. England didn't have Niter anywhere. Unless it's underneath uh, somewhere, like a settle or somewhere. He's, he's not benefiting from uh, Niter. Wait, he's only nighter he's five sides. times old oh my god he's um what's it called what monasticizing he's monasticizing with the holy sites wtf okay okay i mean what is he shooting That's for why he has so he much time. okay oh wait no, no well not yet he's gonna have enough for science so when he's gonna finish uh his holy sites Wow. This is pre because uh, Harbor's free inquiry. He has oh wait no, no wait, no he's what? dark he's dark. He's dark yeah. is a dark age dedication. Yes 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 I know but uh, you actually need to have uh, the holy sites finished right? Yeah yeah it gives you uh, plus seventy five percent science and minus twenty five percent culture. Right? Yes yeah. yes in cities with the holy site. <laughs> I mean I don't know maybe it's uh, like you don't need to build the holy sites but I would imagine you do need to build the holy sites. Yeah, but that so is next a lot turn, of science. He'll monasticize in Cap, he'll monasticize in Bradford, two turns he'll monasticize in Plymouth, yeah. three turns he'll monasticize in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, science before all of that monasticism. Interesting. How is he getting so much? Like, this is uh, okay. Maybe he got Pingala third and fourth. Uh, sorry, fourth. Did so he that's get... one, two, three, four, five, six Pingala internals. So that's 18 signs from those traders. Yeah. Plus the Pingala 10 from the population, plus the bonuses of 10% uh, more. Uh, the 
campus that's gonna be 10 here oh, okay but still it doesn't even have a library yeah <laughs> i don't know I, I guess it is but it is uh, he's getting it he controls he's the getting blue CSs. It. i think it's one one on the blue cs's right? yeah yeah jedi and automation Starting to look uh, if they're contested. Neither of them matter. Them. No, neither of them are very good blue CSs. Yeah, no. Oh well. Yeah, well, he does have a lot of population that I definitely can see. The gunpowder in three turns, that's when he's gonna get the upgrade button for these uh, troops. No, wait, he's getting uh, musket man gunpowder before he's getting men at arms. Oh, he's working back on the text, not forward. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, we do have catapults also coming around from the Spanish cities. Won't make that much of a difference. The sea dog is already there to three pillage turns. the tiles. He's gonna pillage, he's gonna yeah, pillage yeah, the campuses yeah. and go faster than, than three. Oh no, he's shooting in the city. I would pillage the campuses. I was just about to say the same thing that you said, because the sea dog is in prime position to get more science, more science, more uh, culture, you know, like, I don't know. Free mm -hmm. eels, man, free eels. It is what it is. Especially when you have a push, like, I need to get these, um... Like, I wouldn't have even settled the city on England. I would have left the settler there and then settled when I want to up the turn I want to upgrade mm -hmm. so that Gaul isn't completely aware, because now he's starting to go towards, um, like, he's building knights and stuff, but knights aren't going to hold. Yeah, no, especially since he has them built in the north. I'm actually not that convinced he knows about what's happening in the sea. So, no, he doesn't. He's sending them to the east. He actually wants to, uh, wants to build them to send to uh, Atomation, to Egypt, which could be a plan. He definitely has the um, higher culture and higher science, so he's going to discover those technologies to, uh, like, for example, cuirassiers much, much faster. And that's also going to expose him to the south. And this is probably where uh, Atomation is preparing his uh, grand master plan, <laughs> putting Michael to work over here, unleashing him on his opponent, an unsuspecting goal. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Gaul can't suspect it from the military score because he just thinks it's all boats. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit of an advantage to hide those uh, actual numbers. No, I noticed Byzantium uh, Tagmas got pushed back from Aztec. Aztec uh, successfully defending this. No problems for him. Also, I do notice Babylon that has a decent amount of units that he could uh, also upgrade if he wants to. I do have to say Scotland doesn't really have a defense. I actually, I believe if um, Babylon here would decide to try to go against his opponent, he's going to make quite a bit of a bang here in uh, the Scottish cities. I'm, uh, I'm curious why. Is it, is it a problem with gold? No, they do have. They do have a decent amount of gold. They just didn't... Uh, how to say... Uh, they don't care about attacking Scotland that much. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I think it's just a... Defense sim up for um, Babylon. Or maybe they will try to care because... Uh, oh, oh, I see. Um, wait, wait, wait. Cavan 3. Yeah, Kevin 3, nationalism in 4, and he's building courses. I mean, this if this doesn't mean uh, Cav core attack, I don't know what is. <laughs> you know? It is what it is. Okay, England smashing through. Toledo getting uh, catapult. Way too late, by the way, to actually get catapults. These don't, just don't do enough uh, to the catapults. Uh, it was a valiant effort, though. And I do have to say, Tirhab did do well to expand so much in the other uh, directions. Just, you know, give up on those cities. He knew he's going to lose them in the end. Now, it did force also England to get so much of his economy into these boats. Upkeeping everything. Not to mention uh, slowing him down in other senses. But... To be honest, Michael did uh, adapt quite well to everything. And Wait, this is monasticism, right? 183 science. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a city also oh on the coast next to um, I think Egypt and Aztec. Yeah. South of Egypt. South of Egypt. This one. Hull. What is this yeah. one doing? It was the escape. Oh, oh, was it? I think he actually got it. Or was it from? I don't know. I guess it he's is. been walking it for a long time. Oh, I see. Oh, so that's the missing settler. I didn't actually check from London. I knew he had more, but I didn't know where it's uh, going. I see. I see. So it went so far into the east. I mean, that's that's not bad. Is I it a different continent? Uh, 
must be he got a midi unit out of it yeah it is no. it's the red it's the red he's on no, 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 no but it's yeah but it's not the first red he you only get it on the first red okay yeah he did get you only get a melee unit when it's the first one you settle yeah Okay, so maybe he came with a warrior, escorted the settler, and then upgraded the swordsman. Yes. Got it. Enough. Okay, knights. We got libraries. More knights coming out from Gaul. All of them are going to the north. None of them to the south. But we do have a line of... Uh, oh my god, look, look at this Samaro Brivaratumakos line of uh, defenses here. <laughs> so, you know what You know attack comes with redcoats? Uh, hmm... An interesting tech that comes with red coats is mountain. Same tech. Oh, the mountain tunnel, yes. But uh, where but uh, military you can go engineer? Encampment. Yeah. He doesn't where... have an encampment. <laughs> oh, you can't have everything. You're busy building his holy sites, scaling. <laughs> well, it did put him at a very good advantage here to get this, um, how to say, these techs up at the correct moment in time. Um, I guess we're gonna see him upgrade really quickly here. Military, uh, military tactics coming out next turn. Turn 67, red coats pushing 68. Yeah, it's okay. No, 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 one more turn. Don't turn. Mahabodi Temple, by the way, in uh, Byzantium territory, three turns to finish. Uh, didn't we have Gold actually getting his uh, Diplo points last time? Yeah, Gold did. So I would have imagined actually he's going to keep on uh, trying to get those points, but he's not. Even though he did get a holy site, he never actually put it next to a forest so he can build that Mahabodi Temple. And of course, he didn't have a religion to begin with. Now remind me, do you know, do Gaelic units pop in the Oppidum? Gaelic units pop in the Oppidum? No. And it's in the city center? Actually, that's a very good question. I'm not uh, convinced. Actually, I'm not uh, I'm not sure of my answer here. It like, should I not pop in the Oppidum. But in a city with just an Oppidum, no encampment. I'm not sure which it is. Well, I guess let's see. Uh, look, in Bibrax, for example, he does have an Opidum, right? It's the one three tiles out, and the knight yeah. spawned in his city center. Aduatuka, the uh, same, spawned in the city center, not the Opidum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, except the walls, I don't think it has uh, properties as uh, encampment. It's not considered a defensive building. Yeah, it, so. I mean, it has um, I it guess has, uh, zone of controls. It does, it does. Yeah, 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 those yeah, are yeah. the walls, right? The walls. Yeah. Anyway. So it's uh, a defensible district, but not a military district. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's weird. We won't know unless uh, we ask one of the modders to tell us exactly what uh, what's going on there. I do notice uh, Babylon. Look at Babylon. He built those coursers. Northeast, he's sending them northeast, not north, directly north. What, what is he doing here? Is this going to be one of those sneaky attacks uh, coming through Kabul and uh, getting into the heart of the Scottish territory? Ooh, that's going to be Ooh. big and nice. That's going to be nice. Yeah, who's everyone that said battery full purge builders? I don't see any plays coming from them. I mean, the only play they have really is the red coat. Yeah. If the red coat push fails, I don't see them winning this game. Uh, I, yeah, I have uh, the same uh, impression, especially since Goal is uh, gonna get that attack against his opponent. Industrialization coming up next turn. Automation is uh, slower on this. And there's nothing much that his allies can do in this situation. Like Robert the Bruce does seem like Babylon is gonna have fun with him let's say it like this uh basil cannot actually do anything against his opponents like i don't i don't really think with his armies he can do anything anytime any anywhere against his opponents here please michael please yes. pillage the campuses and get gunpowder this turn please oh kick he did he oh did. there we go he did oh he and he killed the city okay he should have finished gunpowder now yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. 
Okay. So, build that skill back in Zivani. Also coming up next time from uh, Egypt. That's gonna allow him to actually keep one of the city centers. He did have uh, Nalanda, so I guess he, he will guarantee him uh, the Sus there. Uh, we don't. We do have him with some courses to the northwest. I guess he's seeing uh, goal is getting a bigger military, and the the fact the moment they're actually gonna punch through uh, to see what's going on in Samar of Riva and Ralto Macos, they're gonna figure out. Uh, well, he doesn't have the units here. There must be somewhere. Uh, Babylon's upgrading now. He's spending his gold. Yeah. Okay, two, four, five. Only five, five, six, seven. That doesn't seem like a magical number to me. Who has Preslov? Hmm. Wasn't that the uh, Aztec? Yeah, so it's we can't upgrade in that yeah, territory. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming back. I don't think he can step in that territory, right? It's uh, his allies. Correct. His, yeah. Correct. Uh, oh, Cisco. Good evening, sir. Yeah, go cast a mid. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cisco is saying that you're going to be uh, sick on the jokes there. Okay, let's see you. Let's see, let's see them popping. <laughs> No, fact that he's everywhere. I mean, uh, so far, some good joke. Yeah, yeah. Some good joke so far is the uh, the Basil push. <laughs> a good joke. Uh, the the Singapore uh, fail over here. I mean, he didn't get the city center, but uh, Babylon was uh, quick on his. That post. was a really nice play by Babylon. Uh, Babylon has been. Uh, I think I guess Babylon's a good first mover because he he took the settler off hot sauce too, even though hot yeah, sauce true, is host. True. He's also, like, I, I do have to say, he's kind of big brain in this in the sense that he he's uh, anticipating where his opponents are actually going to do their moves and uh, trying to do exactly what uh, their opponents are feeling. Uh, or I should say, uh, you know, the, the trying to see their weakness. This is good. This is good. Do you mind going back to the uh, yield show? Yep. There we go. Yeah, I mean... Gaul has the same production as the top two on builder, if better full source builders combined. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. That is a very big problem. We've seen this uh, before last week. It was that time uh, from uh, Putolmec, but uh, yeah. 33 improved rainforest tiles, man. 33. I've never seen so many improved rainforest tiles in a single game. And this was all pre turn 20. Imagine starting off your game with 33 improved tiles. <laughs> wow. I would anyway. love I would love to see a mill engineer building a mountain tunnel and a yes. general from England. Yes. Like I think that would make this push push so much better. Instead of coming from one tile, you can come from six, seven, you know? Yeah. And also it makes your units faster and stronger. Right now he's got plus four from Ollie Legacy and plus five from Twilight Valor. It's nine. He got another five with the that'd be plus sixteen that he has over Gaul. Like, uh, we got a question here. When can Gaul get fascism? Let's see. He's on colonialism right now. He's not that long time. far, but not that close either. It's gonna take a while. So if he's colonialism, colonialism the top. He's, yeah, he's yeah. here. So he it's needs to go ideology into fascism. It will take some time. Probably turn like. 90, 95, yeah. Ah, faster, faster. Because uh, look at that 264 uh, culture. He's uh, going to start one uh, turning the civics. He needs like, what, maybe seven, eight civics until then. So I would say, to be sure, around 12 turns. Around that. No. Wait, go back up to the culture tree. Uh, there we go. Okay, so so he needs... He needs... I don't know if he has... Urbanization. He, okay. he, he has civil, not national. So he has some okay, urbanization, one, two, three, natural history. Wait, no, no, no. Four, you skipped the five, nationalism. The next six, three is four. Seven. No, 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 no. It's nationalism. Wait. Then the next okay. three. You need all three. Um, yeah, okay, so, so you need natural history also. So it's eight. Okay. One, two, three, four. The nation is six. Mm -hmm. Ideology, which you can't boost, is number seven. Mm -hmm. And then fascism would be number eight. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe like 17, 17 turns. 17 turns. Okay. Well, I, I think let's so. see. Let's see. He's uh, right now two turning nationalism, by the way. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I guess he did get the boost. Did he get the boost from Tidhap? No. I don't think he, he ever got to nationalism. No. I don't. It is what it is. No, Babylon's doing nationalism too, though. Yeah. 
Uh, also, I do have to say right now he's at war, so uh, these numbers might change because oh, one turning ur urbanization, okay. Another one. How much is urbanization in terms of uh, actual? This is 726 culture. That's uh, with on normal age, or is it already cut in half? It should be normal, normal age, right? So 720 uh, by two. 363? Yeah, he, he got rollover from the boost. Right. Yeah, 63. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure how it works in teamers. If two people are checking the same thing, does one boost the other and then they get um like rollover culture or do they both waste? I'm not sure. No, the boost just doesn't activate. Or maybe sometimes it activates in the last few, like that millisecond that the computer, mm -hmm. if uh, the one discovering the tech first is on top in the lobby, he might get a boost if yeah. it's lower in the lobby because of how Civ calculates. But I don't think it's that efficient to actually yeah. take the same thing, uh, two, two people take the same thing. Correct. Look, so there's the Babylonian cavalry. Yeah. Maybe pick up a hut <laughs> along the way. Oh my god, and it's like open land, it's open seasons for Scottish uh, heavy chariots over here. We're gonna see all of these uh, bunnies running around like uh, wolves are running after them. And Scotland is trying to industrialize. If he got Highlanders up, he could defend, but... <laughs> that reminds me of a short I was looking a few days ago uh, from a game, like, I don't know, three months ago, four months ago, when uh, Scotland got... Um, those uh, ranged units, those um, Highlanders, and then uh, his opponent uh -huh. started running away, and his opponent had like field cannons and uh, infantry and so on. <laughs> and everybody was running away from those Highlanders. They're strong, man. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing they have the melee strength of, you know, like a, a line infantry, but they shoot ranged, so they don't suffer from when they hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't suffer the blowback. Yeah, that's true. Plus five combat bonus when fighting in heals. Replaces, so what is it? 70 range strength base. That's the same as the field cannon, no? Versus yeah. five stronger. Actually, yes, stronger than the field cannon. Field cannon is 60. 10 strength oh. more than the field cannon. Heck. <laughs> and 60, 65 melee, that's all line infantry, I think. Yeah, yeah. But these calves are going to have something to say about those. And I do have to say, it's not that usual to actually see uh, the Highlanders on the map. It's a good, very good unit, don't get me wrong. But you just don't see the players using it as much don't as... Don't use uh, it because they're like, to. oh, Scotland, big science, go industrialize a scale, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. They want uh, to benefit from the simming. I do notice uh, Spain is also getting attacked by England and it looks like these records are going to do massive amounts of damage against uh, the Spanish defenses, but it's still going to... Uh, I do I do also want to mention that uh, Tidhub is doing quite well to slow down Ingle, hey, England. What is going on with my... Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, Redcoats cannot one-tap the Gallic men at arms. They need to two-tap them. This but is a bit 85 to 76 is a pretty good uh, hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not taking as much damage, definitely, but uh, still. Oh, I see. Okay, some of them he can hit. Is this Marsh? Yeah, that is a Marsh, that's why. Okay. When the uh, field cannons, two tens for uh, ballistics <clears throat> for England, that's going to make it so much more easier to actually go through the line of defense. Uh, Joe Frost is going to turn away from own... infantry. Okay. Yeah, Kay. yeah. So, and this, inter this attack is not uh, slowing down. Like, Gaul is not repositioning back his units to the south. Uh, he keeps on uh, getting them on the east. Uh, what, two, four, six, Who's seven, gonna win eight? eight? Who, who's going to get Forbidden City? Because um, who, who, Egypt's who? closer. He's okay, three, three turns. But Gaul is, has an engineer. How many yeah. charges does engineer have? Filippo, two, two charges. He might actually right, so get he's it. Gonna he's going to turn it. Yeah. yeah. I gonna get this one. Can he see the Egyptian uh, Forbidden City? No. No, he can't. Oh? Yeah, he, Ooh, can. he can. He can, he can. He can. Okay. Nice. And most good players, when they're building a wonder, they, uh, they search the screen. For yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, they check, yeah. Yeah, you want to know, you want to know. And you can see, like, uh, from the fine details of where the um, building is, like, where, how to say, how much of it has been uh, built. 
Mm-hmm. You can uh, try to deduce how much uh, time you have. I also, you can see, hey, that's in Egypt's cap. He has Edamanaki there. It's probably a good city. I don't know how much. You know, I'd probably only a couple turns left. Okay, th this is going to ring a lot of alarm bells in uh, Battery of Full Charge Builders. All of these caps. I wonder. Like... I wonder if it's like, all right, throw up the CC. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, we you might actually raise. see automation here feel quite big. Uh, by the way, this is uh, the last turn. Uh, Tirhab, uh, he's going to go uh, golden and heroic age. Michael age gold and uh, heroic age of his own and everybody else in a dark age. No, hot sauce actually went golden also. Interesting. Interesting that uh, Basil got golden here. Well, I guess uh, Wait, another yeah, moment that he wouldn't be bad. Babylon's gonna raise uh, a couple cities off of Scotland. <gasps> Wait, Gold is not uh, doing this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no. He, no, he, he put it. He didn't want to uh, build it on the actual production of the city, so okay. he used engineer, then switched off. Then he's gonna go back and. But is it, it enough? Is it enough? Because this yes. is uh, under time pressure. Look at that. Two times, man. He doesn't uh, really have Who that much wiggle room. Wiggle room. Who is slot order? Uh, let's see. Who's okay, who? Jeff does. Wait, wait. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff does. Yeah. Yeah, so if it goes to slot order, it is what it is. Okay, so we got uh, two major things happening. First of all, attack from England into uh, Gallic uh, defenses. Goal will get core and infantry. Infantry corps should keep the red coats well far away, way far away from his territory. Uh, so that should be fine. Uh, he's getting a possible attack to the northeast. Not really doing much, just poking Egypt a little bit and keeping scouts over there. Getting his industrialization, 520 production on his side. Uh, Kuliasik is going to... Feel the sting over here. Mm -mm. Yeah, Babylon uh, is in a bit of a problem. And I do have to say, uh, Michael it still keeps his 136 uh, science. And I do notice he's getting uh, quite a few cities to work. Uh, pushing Barcelona. Uh, still going to be slow. Not enough units. Nor uh, ranged units to actually help him out here. Babylon's going to scale with that 88 current Chichenitsa in Madrid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, Aztec, I mean, to be honest, Aztec uh, has been a bit uh, passive over here this game. We've seen him uh, get the trade routes with uh, Babylon, which is good. That extra economy is going to help them out. Uh, he did uh, face off Byzantium and he did well, but he didn't really do anything about anybody here. Right? Like, for example, he could uh, he could have actually gotten some boats against his opponent. He could have even tried to put some uh, battleships in the water uh, against Egypt. He has one, two, three cities that he could hit. Also, deal with the economy of his opponents look at england just using uh, the next door lake of aztec for his own economic purposes what is this so is he gonna finish forbidden this turn i think he forgot oh oh Anyway, it is what it is. We're going to have uh, two minutes as a pause and we're going to come back to see what's going on. Okay, me. I go away, by the way. Uh, military. Let's There's go no military religious. Post. Religious? Okay, let's go religious. There's no religious in the game, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so me, religious, me. Oh, you're. Oh, wait a second. You're not in the game. Kick W. Wait. I need to uh, put the uh, nose. Be right back.
My cat is uh, going crazy. Athena is going crazy because I can't let her in this uh, room. There's uh, like so many pieces of uh, PCs and wires and uh, like little uh, n- um, screws and stuff like that that I don't really want to take the risk of uh, leaving a cat around here. <laughs> you know? And, and this, until I fix it at least. Anyway, uh, we do have a possibility for England to get closer to those... Um, fortifications of his opponent but it's uh, not really gonna help him that much he didn't get the goal to upgrade everything and of course it will take time to actually move every one of these red coats that's uh, the downside of these red coats land mini units very very slow very good on defense not that good on offense Wait, is that a sea dog armada whoa okay uh -huh. the armada yeah uh... I do also want to say oh, we do have a much more consistent science outcome from um, the members of uh, Les Sumer Rangers, 227, 244, 253. Uh, while on the other side, we got uh, 142, 124, 141, 174, and 151. Looks like their science numbers are not really reaching those peaks we were expecting. And oh my god, Geoffrey is going to lose his uh, Forbidden City. He's greeting out this factory and he's going to lose Forbidden City. I don't know why he's even building the factory. Like, why? Oh, it is what it is. Anyway, no, he's probably he, a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of uh, things that he. Uh, he did. He did. He, did. Yeah, he used yeah, yeah, two yeah. of them, I think. One was on a different wonder. Was yeah, it? Yeah, one was on. On which? Maybe. Is this that? A wonder was that? There's no one. Um, this is a liberty. Automation oh, start. Okay. We had my mausoleum, maybe he used it to mausoleum because he he doesn't have that many wonders. Uh, Pyramids, Colosseum, um, Temple of Artemis, and uh, mausoleum. That's it. Four. Mm. Mm. Anyway, uh, this, this is kind of big woof. Uh, what I was like, the only reason I can see for this is uh, he's right now overwhelmed by the amount of choices he needs to make. Uh, he has so many cities and so, uh, two front lines that he needs to take care of. This eastern one that he keeps on uh, getting the units through. And then uh, the south one where he needs to be careful to defend against England. Maybe that is stretching his... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there, he there, did there, it. there we go. There nice. we... Oh, my God, man. Man... Finally. I think, uh, yeah, I think Egypt is <laughs> mad. I think Egypt is definitely mad about this. One turn away. It is what it is. He's getting that Statue of Liberty in the water to the south of Swanet in 12 turns. Not that it matters that much. I don't believe they are actually pushing this too much. And Biorix actually has nine points. That, so that feels more like a deny than anything. I wonder if he did the biggest brain play of all time. Really thought it was two turns. And wanted animation to waste even more prod. <laughs> Wait, on the battlefield, one should send in the calf, which is the word for an army component, mountain or horseback. The similarly spelled word cavalry, of course, refers to a depiction of the crucifixion or more recently to an experience of uh, usually intense mental suffering. Wait, really? As a former what? member of the first uh, cavalry division, it was drummed into our heads. Wait, really? I, I had no idea about that. What? Who it's said so this? Weird. Um, it was a psycho mic on my on my chat, and DBZD, mm. thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So, uh, is the Babylonian cavalry has arrived yet? In Scotland, that should be around this turn. Uh, I think yeah, last turn, yeah, yeah. They're getting oh, next there to, we uh, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pillages, the the griefing has started. We we already see some victims, <laughs> and look at the damage, man. Oh my God, sixty nine against the fifty three of the course. Uh, you wouldn't imagine he's doing that much damage, but he is. Uh, he also has a um, upgrade on that camp uh, on the campus, so he might actually uh, stay alive next day and get to also. And we've finish. seen him be a first mover, so. Yeah, yeah, this this is quite a problem, and I'm pretty sure quite a few of these Scottish horses will die. But maybe he's gonna get the opportunity to get to his tech. Where is he? Where is uh, Kuliasek? Siege tactics? Oh no! He's oh. Oh. Tech tree. 138 that's that's one take before right the military uh science siege tactics military mm -hmm. science yeah, yeah. yes and i'm pretty sure he has printing mm, okay 
Hmm, okay, okay. I mean, I guess we're gonna need to see how many punches he's gonna throw there and if he can withstand or not. It, it does definitely feel like um, England is uh, hitting an impasse here. <laughs> he's uh, hitting a wall of line infantry starting to come out of the Gallic series and I don't believe he's gonna have and the strength to fight Gaul uh, late game. On top of that, Gaul has um, the extra King of Ubron's bonus. Mm -hmm. So every adjacent melee unit including the red coat itself gives gall plus one so that's gonna be very hard to push it's like so flanking is normally plus two but against gall your flanking is only plus one really yeah yeah the king of the eburones is amazing oh yeah you probably pronounce it right and no, i don't <laughs> Well, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. I'm trying to figure out a lot of the, this on the road, by the way. I, I do make quite a few I mistakes. Mean, but you know, I, I may be uh, American, and that, that's, that's only for my English, right? <laughs> you know, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, that's... big advantage, man. Big advantage. I got to touch up on my uh, ancient Gaelic. Yeah. <laughs> and me on Latin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, England doesn't really have anything to do with his boats anymore, so he's just sitting and keeping them in the water. This is going to also drag down his economy quite a bit, but it's good that uh, right now they do have a decent amount. Uh, surprisingly, by the way, Tirhab is the biggest gold generator on his opponent. So not only he just... stayed alive, but he's very relevant um, to the game. If I were England, I would delete all those galleys. Anything that's not a caravel, yeah, it doesn't need to be there. Just delete yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just uh, gold per turn, nothing else. And he doesn't have Warlord's Throne. I believe he's Audience Chamber, so it's not a free unit, you know, quote unquote. Oh my god, how many units died over here in Scottish lands. And these Babylonian camps are just going to rip apart these cities. I mean, okay, sure, Edinburgh, I guess, is not that big of an issue. Uh, but that's still one amenity, at least, right? It's the silver that he's going to lose. Maybe the one... Yeah, so it's the silver that he bought out with the merchant. He yeah. settled on top of it. Yeah. So he's going to lose did. it. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. If I, I don't really see anything else going for battery full charge builders. I would not be surprised to see a, a GG come up with in the next three, four turns. I mean, we're going to need to see because, um, you know, sure, okay, you can uh, definitely uh, say that uh, there are some advantages on uh, their opponents, but I think the game is still uh, in need to be played out. We do need to see if they're going to make mistakes. You can always uh, make mistakes. Yeah. What's the um, tech? Like, uh, how, many, how many techs? If you go to the... Um... Oh, the tech advantage between whom and whom. Automation is 35 and 28. While, uh, let's see, Jofrus is 36 and 30. Oh, yeah. only one tech? Yeah, only one tech difference between them. And Wait, civics is like, two um, civics. If you go to the score thing? But I think actually like, Atomation got a lot of the civics, um, I would say, the, the weak, the, the low civics, like the the ones that cost little. Yeah. Not the important ones. Wait, go, go, to the, go to the score thing? Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, yep. never mind. Yeah. He, 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 yeah, I mean. Return I said know, it. Yeah. It is what it is. You said it. You said it and it is what it is. We do have less Sumer Rangers managing to get this victory away from their opponents. Battery of full charge builders. I just couldn't get there, couldn't get there. They did try, and I gotta say, Man Michael did try as much as he could to fight off goal, take down the capital city of Spain, and uh, try to do something over there for his team. But Spain just kept being relevant in the game, and he just wouldn't die. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's actually see what's uh, going on over here in chat. At uh, post game. Yeah, yeah, let's go post game. Let's go post game. Uh, we, we can count the boys Laxus on my spawn altogether. The Scotty spawn? Yeah, yeah. The second I yes. saw that, then you had no abilities. <laughs> I was Michael, like, what? Michael, what? Sorry, Michael. Can, can you rate my spawn on 10? Three. I mean, hey, you got the chops, and I think stone circles would yes, have been chops. amazing there. But Chop, uh, chops, yeah. chops were good. Chops were really good. Yeah. You, yeah, you had a lot of choo choos, a lot of fresh water, no campus today. Four out of ten. Hi, Hi guys. Hello. Uh, hello. The problem is like we we were like using gold everywhere, so even my campuses I replaced them. I think yeah. it was like on 30, 34, 34. I I might have considered a commercial opener there instead. 
Yes, but uh, and that's what I was saying. Like, uh, live players, we all had to have commercials, and we didn't. Um, Jeff, I got a question for you. Huh? When will uh, when will teams start banning Gaul against you? <laughs> <laughs> we thought about it. We thought about it. Um, he plays I mean, Gaul every day. Know... <laughs> uh, we we well, multiple of their players play Gaul. Um, they're, um, I'm not exactly sure how they pronounce it, but like Jeff Russ or whatever, he, he is a big goal enjoyer. I know like, uh, he likes to play that in all their games. He would have played Babylon and we would have taken another great scene. Yes, Babylon was <laughs> my pick, uh, but, uh, and Burek was very strong versus, uh, Scotland, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gaul did was able to get all the amenity wonders, which makes a difference, but yeah. I don't think any, yeah. almost any Civ could have fit in there. The he, uh, I mean, you guys obviously couldn't see this from your point of view, but from the spectator point of view, he was pretty much lapping the field in production and kept up decently with food. He, at the end of the game, he was on 700 prod, and the next most was his teammate Babylon, like 380. Yes, but my start is very good, so... Yeah. yeah. We'll be there uh, before turn 30, so... Actually, on Scotland, I I've built four horses. And at some point I had uh, five to kill Kabul. I then Kabul, Kabul bullied. There are four horses from uh, Hammurabi, and oh, what, what a trick, man. I don't have military lines, so I lose all of them. <laughs> uh, kill more? Man, my forest city, my forest city, if you can see it. I think it built it only campus, and it was building uh, a builder for like 15 turns or so. Yeah. Put the lines management. That scout sneak there uh, from Babylon was MVP. Like, how did you even get there? Oh my god. So, yeah, Babylon and Gaul double teamed your settler with the scouts. Oh, yeah. Good yes. Uh, the scouts that went around Scotland. That was like with my the on from Gladi, And then uh, north of Scotland and went back to uh, the junction. I think it's it's a scout that went to Scotland early game and then fled and went around. Level two is well. I don't know uh, what you guys think I should have done on the wiki spawn. Uh, I did like almost all in Caravels, but uh, that was probably not so. Right. From my but... point of view, I think you played it almost perfectly. The only thing I would have done is maybe you got instead of one of the holy sites, put an encampment. You could build a tunnel between you and Gaul, because that's the same tech as um, Red Coast. Yeah, I realized and, it in retrospect. <laughs> and um, and, a, and a general as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the only thing. I, I think the monasticism was interesting, but not super needed. I would have rather seen um, encampments. Okay. Even just like one industrial zone if you had a good one. And um, pillaging uh, Spain instead of just going to kill, kill the city as fast as you can because Spain doesn't really have a defense for you so you can just you just wait on killing the cities and use your sea dogs to pillage uh, I thought I pillaged all the campus and Gaff Plaza buildings Yeah, yeah, I pillaged, uh, maybe. Uh, I wasn't... I pillaged my campuses but uh, I don't have uh, many ties uh... Yeah, I... it was only two buildings and uh, in each district No, no, it uh, was maybe. It was just, just uh, not that much to, to pillage for, for... Yeah was not a... uh, when, I England, uh, when I saw England, when I saw England, I I I made up my mind. Uh, I have lost uh, level because uh, this, I compared the uh, the start. He would go uh, AV science it was quite difficult for me. Maybe going uh, free query. He but... he went Pingala and and he had a con split. Uh, first expand, so he got two Magnus Raiders, or two yeah, Magnus yeah, Raiders yeah. very quickly. Yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it, but uh, I think my only play was to liberate uh, Von Lavernay, which was mm -hmm. quite the only thing, and after uh, focusing on doing goal for the for the team. And, but you uh, could have, um... Cost yeah, to the, that was uh, good. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were a huge gold maker for your team. Like, one yeah. small thing is you could have, um... Not tech top tree at all, go straight for uh, Conquistadors. Or also, um, when you liberate Bonder Brunei, the next turn declare on it and then raise it. Uh, I thought about it, but uh, it, uh, 
gives me the vision and uh, uh, I didn't think about uh, Caravel uh, that soon from uh, England. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah very he was, that was very quick. He was one or two turns when you off when you killed Bondar, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I was like uh, maybe 17 seconds when uh, he got covered. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, I delay him so so long with the uh, scout. Uh, I, I display, but uh, I have to do it. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> and yeah, I yeah, yeah. That, but it's stupid. But uh, I, I think you could have uh, maybe uh, sometimes you you double tap my uh, galley end of the turn, and uh, was quite uh, difficult to to switch uh, galley. So maybe you could have done. Uh, First turn earlier, early on, and uh, would have been, have been uh, much easier for you, I think. Maybe, thank you. But uh, the choke was uh, for me. Without the choke, I, I lost. I lose my two cities uh, soon, uh, early on. Yeah. Well, but uh, I was not uh, that great because. Uh, I thought about uh, simming with uh, Milan was really good, but uh, I can't sim with uh, you on the same sea, so I was kind yeah. of annoying. And it was kind of annoying it... because I've got uh, uh, freshwater experience with uh, Split Continent. Uh, I have goal, uh, goal on my uh, sea, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I made up my mind with, uh, yes, it's perfect. And then I see uh, B uh, Beachwater Bay and I say, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it kind of gave Michael a purpose because he was incredibly alone. Well, his three teammates were kind of together, but he was alone, so it gave him a purpose. You know, I'm gonna like attack this guy and attack that guy and be able Didn't to. Didn't really have yeah, yeah. yeah. either. Like, he made great. He would have stopped at five. And yeah. about this one, it was really great tempo, but uh, <laughs> it was just so shit after the tempo. Yeah. Well, he also yeah. built zero. Monasticism well, was uh, interesting. <laughs> Yeah. It, it did lock a lot of uh, your district slots, but still, it uh, it was good. Gave me like I seven liked... turns of 100 signs, so I thought it was worth yeah. it. Yeah. Michael and I also really liked the Cav play from Babylon, where he went around Preslav and uh, caught Scotland a little off guard there. Oh, yeah. I can't go through Preslav. But... Right, right, but you instead of going just straight up to Scotland where your border, you go around and come up to the like his main uh, core. Yeah. Instead of his frontline city. I have a video with Kabul, so we saw uh, yeah. he had uh, only uh, three units. So mm. I wanted to kill this Kabul for so much. Right? Um, <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, uh, where did you upgrade the cavalry in your land, and then you swapped it, or? I upped. Uh... Yes. Okay. Yes, um, and then I went. I went uh, around Preslav, and yeah. Just below Kabul in the woods and waited till the end of the round to go through. Okay, GG guys. GG, GG. well played. GG. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for the game. We'll see yeah. you, you uh, uh, in the wild card. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So there we have it. We need to thank Amit for uh, being uh, for joining us tonight, and I do want to thank also everybody for um, uh, joining us tonight. Hello there, uh, and thank you, thank you so much, uh, McCallion. No, much, much appreciated, sir, for picking up that VIP. Woohoo! Welcome. I'd also want to say uh, thank you so much for the subscriptions, for the uh, subs, uh, for um, the bits, for uh, the gifts, and for everything for the support you're showing the stream. I um, oh, I am actually quite distracted by the other computer over there. It's sitting on my mind, and I guess you. You can see it. Uh, I'm a bit deconcentrated. It is what it is. I also want to say tomorrow we're going to have another game and hopefully we're actually going to get to see it with no problems. Uh, we do have uh, Ulysses going against somebody or what? Or no, wait, wait, wait. I didn't actually take a look on uh, Sunday on everything. If I remember correctly, Sunday is actually left open. So I'm going to take a look at games and maybe we're going to find something for tomorrow. Looking around the same hours, 1900 GMT or um, a little bit later. Let's actually take a quick peek over here. Do we have something? We got the score. 
George vs. CPS tomorrow. Oh, that could be nice. That could be nice. It's a little bit later, but it's fine. It's actually 2800 GMT, not 1900 GMT. Definitely can work. So um, I'm going to put it up over here um, in just a few seconds to see what's going on. Thank you so much for uh, everything and see you later. Uh, I do want to say uh, the YouTube video is going to be up in uh, a few hours. So just give it a bit of time and it, the vote will be there with all of the settings, the um, chapters, the details for the teams and so on and so forth. Um, I do also want to apologize for yesterday. For some reason, actually, YouTube put a lot of like, Auto, on, on the auto recommended uh, whatever settings for the commercials it added a lot of them in the first five minutes and i don't know i just saw it over there and i was like did it, did it, did it, did it, what is this going on what is this youtube man anyway I, i'm trying to get a handle on that it's too much have a good evening everybody and let's see each other tomorrow <laughs> bye bye bye